appreciate it. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Yeah, you know the deal. We back again. Yo. A round of applause for Jersey's finest. A lot of content creators not worthy, but they minus. They get offended and start singing like the whiners. Talking like they tough, but it's only screaming and whining. My homie Just Do is the catch you don't come to. Your squad get run through. By the time you come to, you duck food. You suckers talk tough on the internet. Revealing all your threats. Now we got you trapped in the net. Just Do be on this grind. Y'all better hustle up. You dead lifted 90 pounds. We doing muscle ups. There's really no comparison. His voice sound like a derringer. Throwing a towel that's just embarrassing. My dog Just very philosophical and psychological. And he mixed it all with good boxing news. These YouTubers feel like Bishop, I guess they got the juice. But it's lonely at the top to just to feel like child abuse. Be respectful, he don't want to talk wild and loose. If you can't relate, you get dismissed like a mild dispute. These weird cats will tell lies, then they hide the truth. Why beyond views, you lose your life when you collide with dude. It's just do boxing. All you cowards quit jocking. Kirk is official with no other options. Yeah, yo. You know the deal. Judah Ben, we in the spot. Just do boxing, yeah. And of course, shout out to Mrs. Doom. Holding the whole family down. Word them up, word them up. You're feeling like you can go take Undisputed? For sure. Even if it's 75-25? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? That's the issue right there. I know what I'm worth. I know who I am. I know, like, at the end of the day, you're not going to tell me, oh, we're going to offer 25% to Shakur. Yeah. But we're going to give this person this much, or we're going to give this person this much, and we... That, that's not even right. You only doing that because you don't want to fight me. It's basically a, a move for for the public, I guess. Yeah. Because I, I pressed them out. So yeah. Since I pressed them out. And nobody else pressed them out. Send them some bottles at camp. Nobody else went and pressed them out. <laughs> I went and pressed them out. Yeah. So now yeah. he's trying to be petty and funny by sending me some little, some yeah. little chump change. What's good? What's good? Salute to the family on this good Friday. We back to get boxing is just due. Y'all already know if you catch this on the playback, come join the family, sub to the channel, turn them notifications on, and uppercut, jab, hook, the like button, and come rock out, man. Come rock out with your boy, man. We back, we back to chop it up, to build on this good boxing. You know, part of my absence yesterday. You know, I am back refreshed, you know, back to have us a good conversation, man. It's a lot of little things going on, man. It's a lot of little things going on in boxing, man. And uh, we're going we're going to build on them as we always do. You know, we start one place and we end up in another. Y'all know how I go, man. So with that, man, let me say what's up to the fam that's in the building so far. Tim, my guy, what's good with it, man? Yeah, man. I had a, a, a better day for sure, man. For sure. D1, what's good with it, my bro? I think it would be the most lucrative fight boxing I've ever seen. When it happens, I'm telling you, D1, I, I, I'm with that. I think they can do something crazy. Miss Joe S. Queen, how you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through as always. Shawala, the queen, how you feeling today? Appreciate you always stopping by as well. Salute to the queens that continue to support us content creators, man. Y'all make 
it worth it, man. Salute to y'all. And y'all have something to add to the to the community. So I, it's always appreciated over here. Being boxing news, what's good with it, bro? Popping in the pharmacy, checking out the box and talk. <laughs> what's going on, bro? How you feeling? Thomas, my guy. What's good with it? What's good with it, bro? Judah been on the track. You know it. You know it. You know it, man. You you a positive guy, man. I, I love it. I love the energy, Thomas. And you consistently positive. And you always giving me my just do, man. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you said that. Because usually, uh, Thomas, like, I be wanting to, like, say no to wrenches and stuff like that. Because what I notice when people, some people, it'll be their first time here, right? You give them a wrench, then you don't see them no more. But Tim has been here since he's been here. You know what I mean? Since you've been coming, you've been coming. Thomas, since you've been here, you've been here, man. I appreciate y'all, bros, man. So I got to treat y'all like the family that you are. And I, I thought Tim had one already. I really did, because he always showing love, always coming through. We're going to make sure the family will be tooled up in this joint. What's good with it, Thomas? How you feeling, though, Brody? Ashley's Corner, my cousin, was happening with it. How you feeling, Ash? Appreciate you stopping true. As always, you know, always good to see the cuz on the boat. You driving? Hey, man, safe travels, man. Hey, anybody that's on the road, safe travels. I do appreciate y'all pulling up out to the cleaning the podcast. You know, Miss Just Do holding the whole family down. That's why I always let it play to that part because she is very appreciated, Thomas. That's her. That's my way of letting her know every day. Big text, what's good, my, my bro? How you feeling, man? Good to see you in the building as well. Sparky, what's good with the fam? You already know, in and out. Salute to you, Sparky, man. You know, catch you on the next one as well. Appreciate the support, family. Box and match us with D Free, my brother. What's good, D Free? How you feeling, bro? Appreciate you sliding true as you always do. You know, man, we know it's a lot of nothing going on in boxing. It's a lot, but it's a lot of nothing at the same time. But we're going to get it right, man. Salute to y'all that continues to support the grind. Y'all the real MVPs, man. Y'all keep me um, y'all keep me motivated even when even when I, I you know I can't find the motivation. Man, just knowing that the fam is uh supporting what I got going on keeps me here, man. It keeps me here. Yes, sir. Yes, salute to the kings and queens of the chat, man. Because that's what we got over here. 88 Sports Talk. What's good, my bro? Putting that color in the chat early. Much love and appreciation, man. I like the undercard for Canelo versus Jamel. Me too. It's filling out. It's filling out pretty damn good. Okay, Greeks. I see you, bro. I see you, Greeks. I got you, Brody. What's good with the Greeks? How you feeling? Salute to my bro, 88 Sports Talk. Yeah, man. It's shaping out to be a good undercard, man. You got on. Um, do they got the young boy Elijah Garcia on there? They got Lubin and Ramos. You get what I'm saying? It's shaping out pretty damn good, man. Pretty damn good. The fact that it's not top heavy is, I think, going to help it do well in terms of numbers, right? You get what I'm saying? It's always good when you got more than one fight to look forward to. And that, and that's an event. You get what I'm saying? Uh, Charlo and Canelo is going to be an event type fight. So, you know, the more eyes that they can bring to that event, the better it is for the sport. And I think them filling out the undercar, like you said, the right way is gonna help. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Salute the ADA Sports Talk. Appreciate the love, family. Big dog Willie always showing up, showing love in that super chat. So we just do in the handy coat. May the cat be with you. <laughs> Salute to you, big dog. Always showing and love, And we ain't never man. got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these, but but but, but now it's time yeah. for you to get your just do. Greeks, what's going on with it, bro? What's going on with it? How you feeling? Salute to the baby girl. Miss Just Do, the queen. How you feeling today? I hope you feeling fine over there. And we just going to keep rocking out. So, yeah, man. I know we back again with another dope build, man. It's always something to build on. It's always something that kind of catches catches the eye so we can talk and, um, you know, just simply put, just assessing all the things we've been talking about, right? <clears throat> everybody, everybody, you know, boxing fans want to know what's going on with Tank Davis, as we should, right? Rightfully so. We want to know what's going on with the cash cow and one of the faces of boxing, right? We want to know what his next fight going to be. Everybody is uh, 
not everybody, but a lot of people are leaning towards the, the pit bull direction. I understand it. I get it. Y'all going off for what you heard Calvin Ford say. But I will still say this. I, you never heard Tank say yeah to a pit bull fight. So ultimately, no matter what anybody else is discussing and wants for him, he has to want that for himself. So you get what I'm saying? And when it comes to Tank, I'm just more realistic. Like, we know who we want to see him fight. And then, you know, in having that conversation, you understand that some of those guys that we want to see him fight are going to be off the table for one reason or another. And that's just being real. You get what I'm saying? So, we it's again, it's like a waiting game. You kind of got to wait and see. Some people feel like they predicted it. they like, yeah, hey, man, it's pit bull. Undeniably, I don't know why y'all waiting. You get what I'm saying for them to announce it? You, know, you get what I'm saying? And I get it. I get it. So, it, again, if it's pit bull, you got to think that Shakur wouldn't be on the table. Uh, being that you hear Bob Ram saying, why would he look to make a big fight with Tank when he got fighters? You get what I'm saying? We heard the whole spill from uh, Bob Ram. And, um, you know, he... Tank ain't fighting in November, which is, I believe, that's the date for Shakur, November date, right? So he's off the table. You know, you got Haney and Regis doing what they're doing. You get what I'm saying? So it, it, that that takes Haney off the table. So that's Haney, Shakur. You get what I'm saying? It, certain guys are just going to be off the table. Grind Horse Sports Nation. What's good, family? How you feeling? The end says, Cruz, yeah, man. And I, I hear it. That's because that's the way, that's the direction at least seems like. They're 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 uh, tipping your big dog savage in the in the comments, man. I'm telling you. So again, and, and then we you know moving on to Shakur. You know we also want to know what's next for him. We you know it's supposed to be Frank Martin, straight up and down. Supposed to be Frank Martin. They went through the lit. They went through a number of different people. People are saying no. They got other plans. At the end of the day, they said they was gonna go in order, pick the highest ranked available opponent. That's looking like Frank in terms of an opponent. You get what I'm saying? But I just wouldn't be totally surprised if this is not going to be Frank Martin next. It's going to be bittersweet, disappointing, but nonetheless, it's always good to see a young fighter that's putting in that work have an opportunity to fight for a title. You get what I'm saying? So I think, um, you know, boxing just need to continue to deliver and do what they've been doing for this year and keep giving us those 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 great matchups. You know what I'm saying? So we could have, you know, 2023 would be one of the most memorable years of boxing for a lot of people. You get what I'm saying? And I think they just, it'd be very smart for them to put a stamp on this year by closing the year out strong. You get what I'm saying? I would like nothing more than to see these dudes close out the year the right way and really, uh, you know, give the people what they want, <clears throat> give us something good to look forward to moving into the next year. You know, you know he said the pit bull December 9th, he ain't feeling it. Man. Truth be told, I've been thinking about it for a third fight. In one year, top 10 opponent across the board is what it is. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying, D1? It's, it could be something. So say some time to cool them down. Yeah, they be they be hot over there, hot under the collar. Salute the big dog Willie, always adding the, the comedic value to the chats, man. And y'all make sure if y'all don't do nothing else, even if y'all passing through, if y'all don't stay to the end of the show, do your boy just a solid and punch that like button out. It only a little flick of the uh, of the finger, you know what I mean? Punch him out. Let the people know we on and we cook and giving boxing is just do. Like we always do. We do what we do over here, y'all, you know? But, yeah, so, you know, it's a number of different things, man, that uh, people just want to know, and rightfully so. And I hate this. I hate the guessing game. You get what I'm saying? I, I wish we, we, we could get answers to who certain guys were fighting, you know, a lot sooner or just you know i wish the the information that a lot of times we got was a lot more concrete and we didn't have to play these guessing games as to who's the next you know good meaningful fight at 135 you get what i'm saying who's it gonna be you get what i'm saying i feel like frank martin and shakur could be started at man they need that you know what i'm saying and hopefully you never say yeah too just <laughs> say yeah yeah <laughs> right if Darius was good with it, family, how you feeling, bro? Appreciate you stopping through. Yeah, I punch on that like button one time for you, bro, man. 
we just gonna keep on rolling. But like I said, man, this is just a, a you know some things that I seen that, that that came across that I wanted to chop it up about, man. You know, um, Mike, what's good with it, bro? How you feeling? Appreciate you sliding through. It's a reason why this guy, this young man, look at this fight as like a Super Bowl type fight. And I said this before, I, I, I agree with them same sentiments, man. I, I think I, I understand where he's going with that. You get what I'm saying? Uh, he, uh, Like if we were like um, gonna be for real, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Keep, it, keep it on. What's like, the fight? I, my opinion. Yeah. My bad, y'all. Pardon me. Y'all smash the like button, and y'all know how we do over here. We do bills, man. We talk about what's going on in the sport, and we build on it, man. You know, I don't really care about breaking news over this way. I care about building on the news that's broken, and there ain't been no real fresh breaking news other than you know. The possibility of um Wilder and AJ fighting in the two fight deal. We're gonna talk about that as well. But you know, we're gonna talk about, you know, the somewhat of the elephant in the room. Everybody wants to know what's next for Tank Davis. We really, you know, some people, like I said, feel like it's a uh, Pitbull Cruise, but we all know that that fight don't really excite nobody. You get what I'm saying? Outside of Pitbull and his team, because I really think that they're looking for another payday. I don't even feel like they they think they can beat him at this point. If you didn't beat that man with one hand, the likelihood of him hurting his hand the second time around is, is very slim in my opinion. So he's going to have two hands the whole time. Imagine what he's going to do to you. He outboxed you thoroughly with one. Thoroughly. Like, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> thoroughly with one. So two hands just going to make it worse for you. Just going to make it worse for you, bro. But we're going to play these at Core and Tank early 2024 and give it to me, man. Just give it to, give it to us, you know. Frank versus Shakur and the winner faces Tank early next year. That will be fire. I'm telling you, D1, it will. Halloween 2024, it will be fire, man. will be fire. The thing about I don't dislike that. Haney, me neither. I was rooting for him against Bozo and Loma. Me too. Me too. And Haney Cole attacks Shakur for pressing that. Haney to fight. Yeah, that's the part that I didn't like either. Is the depressing them like they're fighters. They're supposed to want to fight. You got Martin. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Grease Martin is a a, a a hell of a fighter, man. Hell of a fighter. You already know, man. You hear all the time, Grease. Uh, you know, you part of the fan, bro. Uh, yeah, so look. I'm going to just play this little clip, you know, that I've seen that was recent. Like some of y'all might have seen it. You might not have. But let's hear it with the young Honestly, big, big honestly there's only one fight that is really... The one that, like if we were like gonna be for real yeah, about yeah, it, yeah. Like, keep it on like, the fight? I, my opinion, yeah, because we talking about like skill and like boxing, like all around mm -hmm. boxing, right? Yeah, because we ain't talking about somebody that just got a good jab or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talking about like all around. They can do everything. Yeah, boxing. Yeah, me and Tank the, yeah, the fight. biggest that's fight. The, that's the one. It's the biggest fight in the world. Yeah, like it's gonna be the biggest boxing fight in the world when it happens. Y'all, what you think? Like 147, 140? Nah, hell no. Nah. You think 135? 135? 35, 40? I don't know. I can't. Yeah. I, I, I can see it happening uh, not too not too far in the future. Really? Yeah, I can I can see Shit. it happening. I, I don't think, like, I think Tinker signed that contract. Dang. And I'm going to sign a contract too, so it's now like. you going to get it on. Yeah. And you see that? See that respect that he's giving him, like as a fighter, as another man. He look, he feel like Tank could take that fight, and this is just his opinion. You know, everybody could disagree, everybody could feel how they feel. I think I understand where he's coming from with that. You get what I'm saying? I think I get it a little bit. Um, you know, he simply feels like this could be the Super Bowl of boxing. He he stated that on a number of different occasions. Um. It's for reasons obvious. You hear what he said, man. This ain't just about somebody with a good jab or something like that. This is boxing. This is, you talking about skill, a little bit of everything. And make no mistake about it, that's exactly what you would be getting with Tank Davis and Shakur fighting each other. You get what I'm saying? You will get boxing at its highest level. You will get footwork. You will get defense. You will get offense, of, of course. You get what I'm saying? You will get a hell of a, 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 a chess match, believe it or not. You know what I mean? So it'll be a thinking man's fight to win or lose. You get what I'm saying? And it, 
and I've, I've said this before, and this is just just dude's opinion. I feel like those two are each other's biggest fight, our biggest risk to to beating beating the other guy. That's just me. That's me. I feel like you know the rare talent of of, of boxing boxing ability, IQ, and things like that mixed with the power to just shut your lights out is always going to put you in a position to win any fight you you sign up for. You get what I'm saying? I've said this. On, on, on a number of occasions, I'm always said I don't switch up what I say. I think, you know, as long as Tank is healthy, especially in his prime, you get what I'm saying? I think the worst odds that he can have going into a fight would be 50-50. You get what I'm saying? And and that's a, a worst case scenario. So best case scenario, it starts to get spooky for you. You get what I'm saying? But at the very worst, like I said before, I think with the combination of skill, talent, power, and things like that, experience at this point i think um makes him a diamond in the rough man it's a special dude man a hell of a fighter but you know we all we all want to see him fight those guys that kind of cement what a lot of us already feel about them and i think that's fair we we you know when these dudes lock horns man it's gonna be worth all our money you get what i'm saying it's gonna be worth hey you take my money now you get what i'm saying they're more tired vargas de los santos record that's true thomas they they are there bro they are there. Gertz was good with it, bro. How you feeling? No fans that'll be all tank fans paying for it. Um, now again, greets like um, I think that's a bit of a you know, that's a bit of a stretch. Now look, is he tank? You know what I'm saying? Do he generate the kind of you know revenue that Tank Davis does? Shakur Stevenson, no. But no, uh, 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 you know that would be the case for so many others, countless others. You get what I'm saying? So. It's not a matter of him not having fans. What he doesn't have, right? Greets is a is a pay per view sales history, right? Because he hasn't fought on pay per view yet, right? But I think just because you haven't fought on pay per view yet means you don't have fans, right? You might not have the fans to the level of, you know, Tank Davis, obviously. But again, when you got a guy that has shown you that he can sell out at home. And I know a lot of people are, oh, you're supposed to be able to do that. Everybody don't sell out at home. Everybody don't sell out, period. You get what I'm saying? So I think when you've seen the fact that he's done, you know, very good ticket sales from where he's from and things like that, and when he's fought in other areas outside of the Prudential Center, his viewership, you get what I'm saying, has been very good. You get what I'm saying? You got fights peaking well over a million viewers, and I get it, it's free TV. So I don't know how that'll just translate into ticket pay-per-view sales, should I say, right? But as far as him being able to to draw his to bring some people out, put some asses in seats, he can do that. But how much remains to be seen. But you, you gotta allow him to do it. You get what I'm saying? You gotta give him a chance to be able to build. You get what I'm saying? Someone that only had one jab. <laughs> <laughs> right so i get what you're saying greets like you 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 know um you know you're not gonna draw with the tank davis draws right andrew was good with it bro but he definitely sells tickets you get what i'm saying he definitely sells tickets so i don't think it'll be like a tank having to carry it all by himself i think the intrigue alone off of the fight and what it present you get what i'm saying and the, the level of of danger that both present to each other would 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 make people really want to want to tune in and watch this fight in my opinion you get what i'm saying so we're gonna have to see we have to build a stock and status to make that fight make that the fight of fights yeah i like court because he holds himself accountable recognizes that the hand at playing business within boxing yeah he, he he gets it bro he he know what it is ever attack that nah never never facts facts that's true, big dog. They went at him on something different. It was totally different. It was totally different. Cause of course you funny. And they ain't even got it had going for him. Ask Maxie Hughes, right? Stab at Devin when somebody just a good jab. <laughs> Take a little shot shot. Take a little shot shot Shakur Puerto Rican. They don't support him only the NBA support him. I mean, look. Greeks, um, I, I don't know where they why they started playing that angle so hard, but the man is black. You get what I'm saying? The man is a black fighter, and they support him. You get what I'm saying? I've been like I said, I've been to his last two fights, and the second one was even more live than the first one. You get what I'm saying? So 
and I believe he sold over 10,000 tickets, maybe or something to run along those lines. I forget what it was exactly, but it, he did well. You get what I'm saying? People do have a, a, a genuine interest in watching him. Now, again, is it at the level of a Tank Davis? Absolutely not, because when you are a Tank Davis, you are in a rare position, right? Because the 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 boxing ability and IQ and things allows him to, to attract the diehard fan base, right? Then, you know, KOs, knockouts sell themselves. So he's in a rare position where he's able to capture not only the imagination of the casuals, but the diehards as well. And, and that's that's tough to compete with in terms of if you talk about bringing in more numbers than him. Like some people will tell you that the reason Tank and Ryan did that well was because it was Ryan's fans. People will tell you stuff like that. So, you know what I mean, I, it, it's crazy when you think of it think about it but at the end of the day i think you know what fighters genuinely have a fan base you just gotta pay attention to the numbers they'll tell you some of what you need to know you get what i'm saying never going to happen to shakur lee's bob Aaron. look jermaine we're going to talk about what's ever out there over here this is a boxing forum how the best way i could say it we just had bills bro we have conversations everybody says what fight is not going to happen was never going to happen. Just listen to this, Jermaine. I was also told that Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence was never going to happen. And why are we talking about that too? People just had that same energy. Why are we talking about this? It's never going to happen. Why are we talking about this? Terrence Crawford's scared of him. Why are we talking about this? Terrence Crawford's ducking him. It's never going to happen. He don't want to, you get what I'm saying? Negotiate. He don't want to meet in the middle. He don't want to meet Earl halfway. It was a ton of different excuses as to why people told me that fight wouldn't happen as well. So you got to pardon me if I just choose not to be a pessimist no more when it comes to fights being made. Because I was also, like I said, told that with confidence that Earl and Bud was never going to fight each other. You get what I'm saying? Aisha, salute to the queen. How you feeling today? Appreciate you stopping through. You already know. And Jones, what's good with it, fam? What's going on with it? Salute to you. you know what I mean? So we got to think about or play behind that. Can we just rivalry? They're lining them up. Boost Loman and Stevenson fight, man. Yeah, man. That could be it. That could be it, Thomas. That could be it. Could be what they lining up. You get what I'm saying? Core absolutely has to get out from under Bob. Hey, Shawa, I'm starting to feel like that as well. I'm starting to feel like that as well. To really reach his potential, full potential. I think he might have to uh look to um, you know what I mean, do business with somebody else. And that's just my opinion for right now, is just starting to look that way. You know what I mean? Now, the more I, I look at it, you know what I mean? Like EJ and Taylor, like, blah. You get what I'm saying? True, true. That is true. Like Tank versus Ryan, people was in denial. Facts. Hey, they, and they were saying the only reason that uh it, it is good is because of Ryan's fans and his TikTok fans and his, you know, I'm just like, man, y'all people just, I don't know how to give credit where it's due. My Brody Zoom verse, man. Y'all go check out the Brody Zoom verse. Peace and blessings, bro. Y'all go check out the bro. We do great gaming content over there, man. Go give him a sub. Go check him out, man. He a real one as well. Good up until you are on the prospect. I, I agree with that too, Shaw. It seems like they can get you there and then they get you to the point and it's like, oh, hey, we did what we could do. You get what I'm saying? And then it get to the point where now it's, strictly about lining up their pocket lining their pockets up and if they can't you know if they can't financially benefit the way they would expect to then it's like you put in a situation where you're held back fights are not being made guys are being protected from other guys you get what i'm saying you're not being allowed to pursue opportunities that would help you further and submit your legacy you get what i'm saying and your name in the sport of boxing so that's always something that I just never want to see for, for any fighter, for any fighter. You get what I'm saying? But again, bro, like in terms of anybody ever wonder how I do content, I'm just different. I talk about what's out there. Um, as long as these dudes are boxing and in the sport of boxing, I'm going to always be willing to talk about it. It's a damn good fight. Again, uh, fights I know ain't made on YouTube channels and through social media, but we definitely can show a genuine interest in these fights and let the people know that what we rocking with and what we not rocking with, right? So over here, like all boxing conversations is on deck when they're within logic and reason, right? I, I'm not against nothing, talking about no fighters that K-1 
can really fight each other. You get what I'm saying? And I just can't be the guy claiming I know who is and who ain't going to fight, especially after I had a number of solid people telling me what fight wasn't going to happen. And then it happened. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, man, I'm I'm optimistic as I love to be in this sport, man. Um, it's, it, nobody's going to convince me that, you know, it's it's impossible to get two guys in the ring that really would be willing to fight each other when that business lined itself up, when that opportunity present itself. I think we got two guys that would be definitely willing to lock horns and fight each other. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it's all about, seeing the absolute best, like the absolute best. I'm going to always be willing to have them conversations. And again, when you, when you, when you hear how much flat, how much criticism and scrutiny should Corey Stevenson get for his opponents or the quality of opponents or lack thereof, you know what I mean? You always going to be willing to have a conversation that is, is, is the opposite of what he's been fighting. Tank Davis, no doubt, will be the opposite of what he's been in the ring with thus far in terms of, you know, overall talent and, and skill level and the, the amount of danger that that fight will possess. It's going to always be a great fight to talk about until they line it up. And I'm always going to be hopeful that this fight can happen. The, it, I, it, it's no reason why I can't. I don't believe in the side of the streets. I believe that's garbage, and I don't like to hear it. And if y'all don't do nothing else, even if y'all just passing through, if y'all don't stay to the end of the show, do your boy solid. Just sock the like button out one time. Just sock it out one time. PGH, big dog, is in the building. What's good, my bro? How you feeling? Salute to you, bro. Much love and appreciation, family. Promoters and managers need to move around. These men can promote themselves, and they should be able to choose managers who aren't on the take, but rather have a true interest in these fighters, man. That is great. That's a great point, shall we? This is a great point. It's a great point, man. Either do what's best for the fighter or move around, period. You know what I'm saying? We get it. You want to get paid. We get it. But make sure that you 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 allowing the fighter to be great. Make sure you're not stunting the growth of the fighter by, by you know what I mean? Just not doing great business and putting them in the positions to make fights that, that need to be made. I'm saying I'm calling it now. I'm telling you, you get what I'm saying? It's gonna be a great fight, man. All right, position. Bole was good with Shakur needs some big fights to build that profile. Ain't nothing wrong with that, Bole. That's why I think like when he speaks about his the potential fight with him, he say like not too in the near future. And I think you know, he also understands that that's that's almost like in-game a Tank Davis fight. But at the same time, I think if he can get those meaningful meaningful fights in between time before he gets to them then that's what he'll like to do because i think when when you ask him not i think when you ask him like you know if he can pick his fights who would they be you you typically always hear tank but you hear tank name is last so it's like i think with the way he thinks he wants to get those other fights line them up get these other quality fights in and then fight a guy like tank i think if he had it his way you get what i'm saying so I'm with you, Bole. He definitely, you know, you want to put yourself in more of a, you know what I mean, position, is so to speak. And I don't mind him having to knock off one or two fighters to do that. You get what I'm saying? I think that's cool because, again, that would also allow us to see him face other opposition that's, you know, closer to skill level and talent than what he's been in the ring with thus far. So the closer we can get, in terms of 50 50 fights when it comes to your course stevenson is always a plus that's how it's it's always a plus with any you get what i'm saying with any um fighter when we can get 50 50 fights out of them they just don't want to fight they say all that business boxes when two young boys want to fight they fight yeah that man fighters do say that d1 they do they do Salute to the queens in the chat. Like I said, as always, y'all yeah, the real MVPs. Y'all know that. Sooner y'all disregard these folks, the better. They always want to argue women. Yeah, I don't like that. I I, I don't like that because I like to big y'all up and salute y'all because y'all really have something to, to add to the conversation and y'all always here to support. I'm never here to cause disruption or confusion. Nothing. Y'all always here to support genuinely. I can't, uh, you know. Thank y'all enough. So salute to all the queens that support this Just Do Boxing brand, man. Omega Red, my guy. What's good, Brody? How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through. Kai Sports, my bro. What's good with it, family? 
Y'all don't want to fight neither. He picks 35 year old Regis. It's going to be interesting. We're going to chop it up a little bit about that as well because, you know, just a conversation of what's next. Like, I know a lot of people, you know, they say what's next for Shakur. We really don't know that you're going to fight another, you know, low level fighter. Uh, what's going on with Tank? I uh, bet you he fight the, the, another low level fighter. So it's like these things are being said with no context. That's why we here today. We try to add context or we don't try. We add context to these situations, the, you know, to these conversations. We add depth to these conversations with our bills. So again, you can say who a guy is or ain't fighting, but make sure you 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 speak on who's available and who's not available. Don't just throw it out there like ah, I told you this when you know the guys that you truly want to see him fight ain't available anyway but people won't say that they'll just nah i told you he wasn't gonna fight such and such i mean let's make it make sense man that's what we do over here i'm ready like rocks you know your ways right yeah man salute to the queens man much love and appreciation to y'all not by fault these dudes are ducking them so when the fighters yeah and dudes do have to fight they have to be willing to come to the table and do business for sure Salute the big dog Willie back in that super jack time facts. It's an inside joke. I will explain soon. Right. Talk to a big dog. They don't know. They're going to know soon. Salute to the bro, big dog Willie. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these back, but, 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 but now it's time right. for yeah. you to get your just do. And y'all make sure y'all sock the like button. Now we just going to roll how we roll, man. We're going to roll how we roll. Flawless mentality. Dr. Mark, salute to the OG. How you feeling, my brother? Appreciate you starting, stopping through as always. Appreciate all the support. Y'all go check out Dr. Mark. Another one. Great energy, great content. Always dropping jewels. Not just boxing. He builds on life. You know what I mean? Life, life, life builds. You know what I mean? Much love and appreciation to you, Dr. Mark. Frank versus Shakur is a good start. You get what I'm saying, Bole? You get what I'm saying, bro? It's a good start, man. Just get, just get it to us. You get what I'm saying? Get it to us. And let's continue to build on boxing. Let's continue to give us, the people, what we what we pay for, yeah? We build this sport up every single day. The least they could do is just give us meaningful fights that we can enjoy and, and talk, talk trash about. You know what I mean? Let's give us a great – finish this year off strong. You get what I'm saying? Finish the year off strong. Why not? Get what I'm saying? Why not? Ricky Williams, my brother. What's good with it, Rick? How you feeling, man? Always good to see you in the building, bro. And y'all already know, man. Y'all sub to the bro Ricky Williams if y'all have it, man. We all we got in this community, and we're going to keep building, man. Y'all going to hear me say that a lot because that's what it's all about. And salute to the queen, Miss Knockout. How you feeling, Miss KO? Appreciate you stopping through, Queen. Great to see you in the building. Hope you're doing well over there. Chop, what's good with it, Chop? How you feeling, bro? He said they don't want this fire. At least I don't think not right now, for sure. You get what I'm saying? For in terms of the business side of things. I mean, sure don't. Make the big fights. I agree. You get what I'm saying, Sanford? Salute to you, bro. Appreciate you stopping through. Much love and appreciation, man. Make the big fights, man. Make the good fights. Make the real fights. Give us what we pay for. You get what I'm saying? We're not asking for too much. Think about that. We ain't asking for too much when we asking for the best to fight the best. Don't ever think we are. And I and I and I, I speak so 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 heavily on this because we truly spend our money. So you get what I'm saying? I say this all the time. We don't go to the movies and and, and, and and pay for the movie that we don't want to see. We don't buy the ticket to the movie you don't want to see. Now, we've done it sometimes without knowing, but you get what I'm saying? We don't go into the movie theater and say, ah, that's not the movie. You know what I mean? And pay for the movie you don't want to see. You don't sit at, at the restaurant and order a meal that you don't want. You get what I'm trying to say? So at least you're going to feed us, feed us, feed us right, man. You know what I mean? Give us... Give us something that's gonna stick to our ribs. You get what I'm saying? Give us something that we can talk about that's gonna till we get the next big fight. You get what I'm saying? Give us something that's gonna stick. You know what I mean? Not no nonsense. Give us something real, man, that we could that we could really build on and, and enjoy. That's worth our money. Shoot the big dog Willie back in the super chat. Andy Cole has entered the Con Hall of Fame. <laughs> and we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time yeah. for you to get your just do. 
big dog where we always showing love. My brother Omega Red. Flossy Sports TV, my bro, what's good with it, Brody? How you feeling? My money is hard earned. Ain't no way I'm paying for BS. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? We just demand better, man. It ain't like they ain't got the, the willing participants to, to put the better a better product out there each and every time they do. You know what I mean? We got more than enough talent in this sport to provide us with with back-to-back -back bangers. They've been showing us 2023 ain't just got to be a flash in the pan type of great year. We can build off this. Boxing can build off this. They have more than enough talent to continue this pace, to keep up with the pace that they, they've set for this year. William Old School, my brother, what's going on, Will? How you feeling, man? Hope all is well. Peace and blessings to my bro. Dante Hall Boxing Talk. What's good with it, bro? Is that good old soul food boxing been doing? You get what I'm saying? You've been doing right by us this year. Keep giving us that food that stick to us, man. Keep giving us, you know what I mean? A little something that stick to the ribs, man. You know what I mean? So it can hold us over to the next great event, man. And that's just what it is. Like, that's why I tell y'all all the time. I be past all the all the blame game talk. I'm like, man, nah, how can we get what what's 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 missing? For us to get these fights that's where i'll be at with it because i know we got far too much talent to, to get anything less bro we got far too much talent to get anything less so again um uh, you know moving over moving over man so uh yeah i got y'all got to talk to me on this one man because i want to hear what the people think about this so look we we asking all these questions who's tank's next opponent who's a who's shakur next opponent we uh we got a feeling that Regis and Dev it should be next, right? But is Regis gonna stay stay put, so to speak, right? Is he gonna re is he gonna stay the course? Is he gonna remain patient and allow them to work some things out and work up a new date? Like what's gonna happen? Should Regis be patient in this situation, or should should they stand on business? Like what need to happen? Is this is that the next fight? Because like he said, ain't nothing been signed, so we just don't we don't know like what's the true hold of. I'm guessing a date. You get what I'm saying? But I don't know. This is something Regis had to say, y'all. This is what the Rougarou had to say. You know what I'm saying? And this was just from a couple of days ago. So going to do everything that Khan can do. <laughs> Devin versus Loma, T versus Taylor. The only fights that rated on the top rank this calendar year. Man, but you wouldn't be too wrong, though, Bole. You wouldn't be all point, bro, because those, those, you get what I'm saying, bro? Those would be the, you know what I mean? Those were the big fights. They was. Showtime and Frank is definitely pay per view. You think so? I feel you. I just hope that the fact that he has some flexibility with his situation, Frank Martin, that that should be more than a, a, enough incentive, a, incentive for them to want to make the fight. I mean, reason need to get him a deadline, then move on. It's taking so long. I feel that. And that's that's what I'm saying, Aisha. I just wanted to know, like, you know, from a boxing fan's perspective, like, which I feel like should be the next course of action. Like, you know, should he wait patiently until they come up with a, another date? Or should he, you know, like you saying, should he give him a deadline and say, hey, look, man, if something ain't, you know, signed and sealed by, if I don't know something about then, you get what I'm saying? It's, should he move on is the question. X was good with it, man. It's hot as hell Friday. <laughs> Stay cool over there, bro. We appreciate you stopping through, X. He said, I hate to say it, but Tank versus Pitbull 2 is coming. Yeah, man. I feel like a lot of people feel that way. I just never heard Tank say it, but you just don't know, man. He's so damn quiet. He's been so damn quiet. You just don't know what he thinking. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's always going to be, um, I think as long as they boxing, though, Dante, their name's going to be kind of intertwined with each other. And I think it's up for us to not get, not be against the fight. Not saying that we're against the fight happening. I'm not trying to tell nobody to be as optimistic as me, but just please understand what I, what, when, when I talk about this fight and when I hear people say like, ah, oh, this ain't never happening. Like I just, I know for sure. And that maybe you know, we know for sure it ain't happening next, right? It ain't happening next. But the thought of me saying that it will never happen, I can't do that just yet. Some more things have to take place for me to feel like it can never happen. The reason I say that, my biggest reason for that, because we just seen Spence and, he, you know, Bug get made 
and people said it was never happening. You get what I'm saying? So we're going to see. So I have a crush. Old boy from house party. Regis smells something. <laughs> Yeah, Regis said, look, a few weeks ago, Devin, Bill, and Eddie were saying how much they wanted to fight between me and Devin. He said, I just had to sign. <laughs> he just had to sign, and it was a done deal. That's all they say. He just had to sign, and it was a done deal. He signed his part, and now all of a sudden, he haven't heard nothing back in three weeks. Something smells fishy. Maybe it's just, you know, some ussy. And I know this is Regis just being a fighter. Um, I do feel like I don't think they're ducking them or nothing like that. I just think uh, it's, it's gamesmanship a little bit, and it could be business, you know what I'm saying, on their on their side. But he's looking at it like, hey, man, I signed my part, and y'all not honoring the contract. Y'all trying to move the date from the contract, you know, from the date on the contract that I signed. I don't think you can be mad at him for that. He counting that money, right? He, he right. He definitely is. Aga Chavez jersey is in the building. What's good, my bro? How you feeling? Facts. That's what I'm saying, Thomas. And the last time I heard him say anything about it was that he didn't want to fight that dude. And he called can tell Tank to move to 140. If he doesn't, Tank is ducking. And he called delusional. They definitely is. They will say that, though. They will say he was ducking. Some people will, not everybody. Score the earliest late next year, maybe 2025. You get what I'm saying? It's it's gotta happen at some point, right? Because we I'm just all about seeing the best fight the best. That's all I want to see. You know what I mean? Just want to see it. All right, salute to you, man. Ricky Williams in that super chat. Appreciate the love, my bro. Man, he says uh, he Devin has an issue making a fight with the likes. <laughs> <laughs> What you thinking about it, Rick? What you thinking? You thinking Regis should stay put? You think he being, you think he being impatient and not knowing the business? Like what you feeling, man? I'm about to drop the link just in case. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Salute to Ricky Williams, man. My brother always supporting the grind. Much love and appreciation, bro. So I'm going full press on the Andy Cole from now on. I feel that big dog. I feel it. I feel you. I feel you. I, I just feel like I, I hate to, you know, me personally, I hate to see like um little discrepancies and things like this. Cause sometimes they lead to fights not being made. And that's not what we want to see, right? We definitely want to see uh Dad go in there and get that smoke with Regis, right? And we want to see if Regis can make any improvements from his last fight and look any better than he did, you know, because his last performance left a sour taste, a little bitter taste in certain people's mouths. So they don't feel like he he's, you know, where he need to be. So we, we're going to find out. Hopefully we get to find out. And they actually, you know, situate a date so we can see the fight. You know what I'm saying? Regis Washington. Oh, Greece. Damn, Greece. He's like that. But I don't think so. Greece, I think he's getting old, right? I think he's getting old, to be honest. Like, he's getting up there in age. He what about 35, right? But, and I know everybody aged differently, but just look at a Terrence Crawford, right? That's about to hit 36. Get what I'm trying to say? Everybody's not Crawford. I get it, but they don't really call him old, right? So it's like, but then you look at a, th a 35 what year old Lomachenko, I believe it is, and they'll call him old. So it's just different. And this this is the same guy that only has one loss. That was you know that was tooth and nail that fight. So that was back and forth. So I don't know. He's getting older for sure. And um, but I I don't think he's washed just yet. You get what I'm saying? I think you gotta we got to start seeing him get his ass beat. I think he had a rough fight in his last fight. Stylistically, it really presented some issues for him. But I just don't think that, you know, there are a ton of guys that can put Regis in that kind of position. So we just got to wait and see. I think Devin got a, another offer. Mm. That's interesting. Big dog, Willie, what's good with it, bro? What's happening? How you feeling, bro? Yeah, this is going to be real quick because yeah, I want to kind of explain – Hello, you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to explain the the con. This is gonna take like forty five seconds. I want to explain the no, con thing. Well. Now, for people who don't know why I speak about con like that, this is it's a joke because all the like because con. I talk about con how like AJ fans, Terrence Crawford, Canelo, Loma, 
and all the fans who just over jealously talk about their fighters. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting Devin Haney into the Khan Hall of Fame because how I talk about Khan can do this. Khan walked on the moon. Khan did this. Khan did that. That how their that how the fans talk about Devin Haney. Talk mm -hmm. about AJ. Talk about Canelo. Talk about Loma. Talk about Bud Crawford. Like they are masters of the universe. So that's where the con thing comes from for anybody who doesn't know. So Definitely when you not. hear it, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah, for y'all that didn't get it with my boy Big Dog Willie was, was coming from with that. But uh let me just respond real quick to um Wisconsin. Um I listen, I feel you in terms of that um y'all talking about sales like I'm not gonna sit here and predict that this man gonna sell all types of tickets and things like that. All I do know is he don't have a pay-per-view sales history, right? But he, you know, if you pay attention to the fights, he can sell tickets. Now, how that will translate to pay-per-view sales is another thing. And I do think that fight, you know, people you, you've known about Shakur since the Olympics for the people that know. So I think you when people say no nobody know him i think that's a bit of a stretch nobody you know nobody is doing what tank is doing obviously right but i think people know him, obviously you know what i mean if you're paying attention to the numbers and he don't have an issue especially more so at home you know what i mean so i think he can put some asses in seats but how many remains to be seen but the only way you're going to truly find out is if you get that opportunity now in terms of um Proving it, like I do, I wouldn't mind seeing him fight guys, you know, before you get to a Tank Davis to kind of cement his name a little bit more at 35. It makes sense. I think it'll be a bigger fight a little bit down the line. But if you just kind of hear the way Shakur speak about it, it seemed like he feel the same way. It's not like an immediate thing, but I could, I could see this fight happening because I, I don't I don't see either guy as ducks now. We talking about the business side, maybe that could get in the way. And we've seen it all the time, but again, I've heard Bud and, and EJ never was going to happen, right? So I'm just optimistic that real fights like this could be made. Maybe not right now, immediately, but it's got to happen at some point, especially in, in the same weight class. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at with it. I get all the other stuff, but I'm, I'm optimistic. Fight. You know what I'm saying? Make the fight. How my bro Rick be saying? Rick, talk to me. What's good? What's good, bro? Happy Friday. Can you hear me? Man, yes, sir. Good Friday yeah, to you, bro. Yeah, man, I think definitely. This is me. This is just my opinion, guys. It's not yeah, a rumor or nothing, though. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I, I think Dev got another offer for somebody that y'all know his name, right? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just looking at the landscape. You see Coach Calvin putting out Cruz's name, and nobody want to see that fight. Mm -hmm. Even after Tank, even after, after Tank said he ain't interested in Cruz, I mm -hmm. think it's a diversionary tactic, in my opinion. In my mm -hmm. opinion, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, because. Devin, even though Devin and uh and, and Bill, even though they saying, you know, hold on to your hats, they really not saying nothing. And we know Bill always saying something. If the fight was made, Bill would be everywhere here on, on YouTube and the LDBC saying, Hey, don't worry about it. We come to see you, Regis. We're gonna whoop you too. Mm -hmm. Da 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 y'all know Bill Haney. I think right. they got something else going on in the works. I uh, that's my my opinion. I've been wrong before, I'll be wrong again, right? Mm -hmm. But if they can slot that fight, if they can slot like uh, Tank versus versus uh, Haney in the same month or like, not going to say the same month, but in like November before the Spence uh, Crawford rematch. Right. Ugh, I mean, ugh, I mean, as far as as far as markets, we got to consider at that point that they didn't took over the, box, the game of boxing at that point, especially right. if they slot us with uh, AJ versus uh, Wilder in either in December or January. Like I told y'all before, to me it looked like PBC is simply trying to corner the market on big fights. They're showing y'all right now this is the place for the big fights. They're proving it in 2023. I think that's their strategy from now on. I think yeah. their strategy is to make the biggest fights possible. Right. Right. Man, that, nah, you, listen, man, that sounds logical to me, man. It do. And it, man, it's possible. I think so too, man. They move in a certain way. And I ain't necessarily saying it's bad. I know some people would try to pick and poke at it, but I do, I do uh, uh, agree with that sentiment, man. I think they are trying to make you know, you know, be a part of those bigger fights. So, 
I don't know what you thinking. Um, thinking Regis being impatient. How you see this? How you see this playing out, man? You see it being, you see this being the next fight for them, or you see something else happening? Like, like I said, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's, uh, come on now. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. No. They're trying to make it like it's this super big effort. Right. It, it's not that hard to reschedule. It's not that hard to find a, a venue that's mm -hmm. good. That's good for both of them. This it's not like this is a, a Beyonce concert. You know what I'm saying? It's like it ain't that serious, right? Mm -hmm. A reschedule ain't that serious. I think Regis honestly smells something stinky. You know what I mean? Because otherwise, mm -hmm. what's the point of talking about it, right? Mm -hmm. we, 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 if we're talking about fights getting made, when can we ever say Regis came out in the public saying A, B, C, D about a fight not happening, right? He mm -hmm. usually pretty, uh, he usually pretty much a, a, a gentleman fighter, right? And he let the mm -hmm. business take place. I think right. they see something in the works like, okay, Devin, they not moving how they supposed to move this. We're so, because, again, if it's an event, an event, we know certain things supposed to happen in a certain time frame and schedule, right? So right. if they if they seeing that, and he don't even really have a time because I don't know if he's in camp or not. So did he start camp? Is he ready to start camp? Does he want to know when you see what I'm saying? Those right. are things that play in place. So I think he probably sees something in the wash and probably just, you know, uh, trying to, I guess, cut the horse off at the pass because no, it's like people, it. right. It, it's like people were saying that's a bag for him too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's a bag for him too. So he definitely want to get that money, especially if he already put pen to paper on it. You know? Right, right, right. That makes sense to me, man. Yeah, man. So and I, the reason I ask because you know we we this is where we at sometimes in boxing where we kind of forced to try to figure out and sift through what it is that they leaving us with, you know, these little tidbits. And I got, I, I just hope that, uh, you know, this ain't, um, this fight end up not happening because they couldn't agree on a date. Cause I can already see what the, what the next narrative is going to be. I can see it a million percent. I can see it a mile away. If this fight don't happen because Regis felt like, you know, he ain't want to let them move a date or, or, kind of call the shots in that regard and he comes off as if he was impatient they're gonna say he ducked a million percent i could see it. i could see it a mile away never mind the fact that he already signed a contract with a date and stuff on it never mind that that's gonna go out yeah the way. yeah did, did Devin, i mean <laughs> it's gonna go the, out the crazy way. party is if, if Devin and them made the offer what's the hold up that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, I hate to see this. Like, why are we having to sift through? Why are we not talking about what the date is at this point? You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, so right. I, again, this is just my opinion. Just uh, KB, I might be wrong, bro. Uh, mm. But it, I, it's like a, uh, I mean, no, nobody don't want, nobody wants to see Isaac Cruz, right? Nobody wants to see that. And what fight? What fight? What's one of the only fights that? If Devin, if Devin said, I'm not fighting Regis, that we would be like, okay, that's cool. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? We don't care if you fight Regis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's only... Shit. Yeah, it's better. You talking about that. Yeah, man. It, that's a short list. If you if you ain't going to Regis and you go fight somebody else, you're saying that one fight we probably would be cool with if it end up not being Regis? Tank Davis. Think that's that's what I'm saying, and that phew, man, that'll blow everybody out. <laughs> yeah, we we. I don't think no. I don't think you'll hear solitary peep about it. <laughs> fact, Nobody say nothing. Nobody. Everybody be like Regis right. too. As sad as that, and again, that man, especially if he if he signed a contract, pen a paper, he should have a payday, right? But right. nobody wouldn't care. We wouldn't care. No one would care, right? right. Like it's Tank and Devin in December or November. No one would care, bro. Right, right. just be honest. They would. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I've been wrong before. I might be wrong again. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I could definitely see that though for sure. If they not um, they end up not fighting Regis. They damn sure are gonna be pushing that he duck, despite him signing the contract and being willing and able. And that's the only thing I don't like. I just don't know why people don't know how to see things on both sides. You can't say a guy duck to sign the contract first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like what? Yeah, that's that's crazy. Not that's how, crazy. Right? No way, no, that's crazy. Right mean, it's like it's the negotiations is meeting in the middle. Both people have to be satisfied, not just one. And if it seems like people just throw all business logic and, and principle and morals out the out the window when it comes to certain fighters, I just I try to understand it on both sides. <clears throat> you got mm -hmm. one saying you know it's gonna collide with another date. 
another event. I could look at it like, you know, casuals and, and people not going to pay for two different events. You're going to be one or the other. So I can see that that angle. But then I can also see the guy saying, hey, look, I signed right here. What's up? So mm-hmm. it's, it's a weird situation, but it, it kind of leave us. Like, I know everybody like, well, who is Shakur fighting next? Because I still want to know. I'm still hearing Frank Martin. But they like, who tank fighting next? We hearing this pit bull cruise, but we still like, you know, who is it? And that, you know, we hearing Devin Haney and Regis Pro Grade too, but we also hearing that he'll move on to AB and, and other fighters as well. So it, it's sticky, man. It, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the I next agree, fight, man. if we fight at 35, about to be. I know what it should be, but man, man I don't know what they're going to give us. I, I just want to say this, this show y'all how greedy boxing fans are. Y'all just hate pushing away from the table. You know what I'm saying? And gave mm-hmm. y'all gave boxing all these great fights this year, man. Y'all still want more, more, more. You're gluttons. No, man. Like, um, like I said, I don't. I, at this point, I really don't care. The only fight I'm really, I'm uh, the, the only fight I'm really hyped hyped about is AJ oh. versus Wilder. That's the fight I'm really hyped 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 about. Right. I um, was going to talk about that too. So moving in, being that you even brought it up, man. So talk to me about it, man. How you feeling about this? Are you hearing what I'm hearing is two fight deals supposedly. Yeah, Tom yeah, was yeah. Good with it. YK Mel was good, bro. Yeah, yeah. I also heard a rumor that, and it, again, rumor, guys, rumor. You know what I'm saying? Right, let me let me preface uh, that they're trying to get uh, the fight in Saudi Arabia with AJ versus Wilder and uh, Usyk versus Fury on the same card. Mm. That's what they said. At least that's what that's a rumor or uh, quote that AJ again allegedly said mm-hmm. that they're trying to get that done in Saudi Arabia in December for both for, for both fights. December or January, I can't remember. One of those months. Right. Right. Um so if that if that happened, if we can get undisputed and AJ man, come on, bro. Come on, what else you want? Yeah, yeah, man. Come on, give it to us 2023. Y'all been delivering all year. Let's keep the momentum up, man, because uh, we definitely need this fight. And like I said, it's, it's, it's dope to see that despite these guys both having multiple losses, that this is still a big interest, genuine interest in wanting to see this fight. And I yeah. think they need to strike while they're iron hot, man. Like, you take right. advantage of this. People still care about this fight. They don't care that you guys suffer knockout losses. Nobody cares that you're not undefeated. Nobody even cares that it's not a belt on the line. Nobody cares. <laughs> if no, you that, fight, bro. That's how you know you got to make that fight. Come on, man. None of this no, stuff, you, matter, you know, it, the, the O doesn't matter. Belt doesn't matter in this situation. Hell yeah, you give us that fight. Hell yeah. Damn, man, I would love to see that fight, man. I wanted to see it back then. I mean, right. both of them, both of them, if we're being honest, in the rebuilding stage, rebuilding their confidence, you know what I mean? I think it's the mm-hmm. perfect test for both of them at this point. Um, I, I just, you know, as far as who I think, well, I think Wilder going to win. You Like AJ, he knocked out his lineage, but everybody knocked out his lineage, including uh, Wilder. Um, mm-hmm. But you can't, you can't sit in front of Wilder like that, bro. You can't sit no. in front of Wilder like that just thinking, thinking, thinking. He's going to snipe you. He's going to get you out of there with something. Um, but I would love to see that fight, man. I'd love to see it twice if I could. I would love to see that fight twice if I could. Um, I wish it was in America because if it was in America, I'd definitely go ahead and go if it was in the U.S. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm with you, man. I'm just uh, I'm hopeful that this this is it, man. Uh, he done said he, he thinking about smashing Wilder head in. And he, he, even though that went under, that went right over people's heads. And Wilder said he wanted a body. That was, that was the next <laughs> headline. He said he wanted to smash Wilder head in. That's cool. But at least he talking. At least he yeah. talking a little bit. But I hope that talk is mean he, he willing to step in the ring and make this fight happen. You talking greasy for a brick mm-hmm. for, for but uh yeah man but if they can I think uh I don't know why Fury ain't trying to fight man I, 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 I'm just I, I, some make some make me feel like man believe it or not like again I always give guys the benefit of the doubt and I ain't gonna say he's scared of nobody but I truly think it's time for people to explore the possibilities that. The damage that he sustained in the Wilder fights was real. And I think since then, I mean, just look at the way he's moved. He's 
not challenging himself truly. Like it's very limited challenges that he's taking on. Like look what he's willing to do and what you would consider what? The, the still the prime of his career, so to speak. This dude about to go and fight an MMA fighter, bro. A guy that never boxed before ever. <laughs> You, you clearly you crapping on the heavyweight division and you taking the title with you to do it. You get what I'm saying? And that's why I say when people be like belts do matter, it all depends on the fighter that it's attached to. And I always say this just to give you know a quick example of it, right? I give respect to Devin Haney. I feel like you you know he made the sacrifice, he fought the necessary guy to get the belts. He had to defend it against that guy. We get it. You beat Loma, we get it. You if you I feel like you you move in a certain way, so I can respect that because it's a certain quality that the fighter, it, you know, possess with the belts being attached to him. It's not the other way around. He gives the belts quality to me, and I always felt like that. It's not the belt. In Fury's case, look how he moving. He pretty much crapping on what would be one of the what most important belt in boxing, the heavyweight. You get him WBC strap, and you playing with it, so. In his case, he'll show you why belts don't matter when they're attached to a guy that just don't respect the sport. And he got talent, skill. We all know that. We I just don't care for him too much, but I know the man can fight. But to see him moving this way when you got an undisputed fight really at your feet and you made all these bogus demands thinking that this dude wouldn't wouldn't stand tall and he said, yeah, to everything and you still playing, that to me and why people are not talking about that it's crazy. Imagine Deontay Wilder having a belt and moving like that. That man got the belt and goes to the smoke. You get what I'm saying? To the smoke. So it's like, it's just different, man. I'm always rock with Wilder. It's mentality, man. Mentality is what's going to always separate them two. You would never see that man behave in this way with a heavyweight title, bro. With an undisputed fight at his feet. He would have been made this fight yesterday. You get what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Just... That dude just don't care about boxing. He's selfish. Exactly. It's a fighter. The fighter, the fighter makes the belt, not the other way around. The fighter right. makes the belt. That's what. Right. Oh, belts don't matter. That's because the fighter who holds it don't. Matter. Right. Right. That's exactly. Why I keep saying that. The fighter. Um, right. Right, man. When you quality and you move in a certain way, you you give the belts. The, you know what I mean. You make the belts valid. Now, you know what I mean. When you when you a suspect fighter. Mm -hmm. Then maybe the belt makes you when you really can't stand on your on your two, and you need a belt to validate who you are. You're a suspect fighter. It don't go to other than that. That's why I say with or without a belt, Wilder moves like a champion. He behaves like a champion. You get what I'm saying? He demonstrates championship attitude every time he opens his mouth. The way he moves, he never ducked, no smoke, never turned down nothing. That's why I say when people tell me about his resume, I'm not trying to hear it. The better question is who is he not willing to fight? That's the better question, man. You, you miss me with that. Ah, his resume. Who is it that he need to fight? He done fought the guy that they said was a boogeyman twice. He done fought the big cheater. I don't care what nobody say. Big cheating ass fury three times and had to force his way to the third one. Like, I, I, don't, I don't get it, man. That's, that's the kind of guy you get behind. That's the type of attitude you, you rock with. Not a guy that get the get the title and play with it. He playing with it right now. He gave us a, what we gave us a what didn't he give us a trilogy or something? Who did he fight? Just Chazor or something like that? Didn't he do come on, bro? Yeah, he Are did. you out here playing? You out here playing, giving I mean, fights yeah, that I, nobody even asked for. Yeah, yeah, just like it's weird to me, right? So Wilder is the so they look at they look at Fury like it's the same thing with Bud. You know what I mean? It's the same thing with Bud. And it would have been the same thing with mm -hmm. on both sides of the coin, right? It's like, mm -hmm. okay, y'all got Tyson Fury at Echelon, right? The best of the best, the Crystal of Crown. Who he beat to get there? Right. Right. Who he beat there? Right. Same with Tech Barris, though. Like I said the other day, bro, the only thing y'all can say these fighters are who they are because they find beat somebody who you thought was worth it. Right. That's it. They finally gave you the what you was asking for. The market was good. And that's all you want in boxing to be for real. Mm -hmm. That's all we should want. If the best fighters fight the best fighters and find out what the outcome is. You might pick right, you might pick wrong. Right. 
Right. But that still don't mean we shouldn't see these damn fights. That's more the reason to want to see it. When we going back and forth about who we think will win, that's more the reason to want to see these fights. That's why I say, man, even though some of these fights we discussed might not be right there, right around the corner, I'm, I'm, I love boxing. I'm going to always be with having these conversations because all these fights should and can be made. You get what I'm saying? They should and can be made. I'm not trying to hear nothing. This and again, this imaginary side of the street. Will somebody please get me the address so I can go visit it? So I can go visit the street that need to be torn down <laughs> from the roof. Like you get what I'm saying? All this imaginary stuff, man. These dudes box, they healthy, they in either the same weight classes or around the same weight classes. These fights can be made, man. Get, get what I'm saying? They ask for our money, don't they? They don't have no problem asking for our money, right? So I don't have no problem bigging up and, and building on these fights until they make them. They have no problem asking us to sign up to another app, to do this, to watch another fight, pay-per-view this, pay-per-view app that. How the hell are you going to have people pay, paying for a pay-per-view on an a app, bro? So again, man, that's why I get mad. Like All fights are on the table. They're going to always ask for our money until these dudes retire or they not somewhere where they can compete. In the same week, I'm going to demand, I'm going to talk about these fights. I'm going to push for them in my own way. I'm going to always speak about them. These are the fights that need to be made. It's far too much talent to be giving us crap and then telling us we have to pay for it. No, we do not. That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to always be loud about what fight I feel like they, they should make next. These these fights should be made. There's no reason in, in the world why we should be guessing who people fight next. That's not boxing, man. That's not boxing. It shouldn't be a fucking riddle. Every time it's time for a quality fight to be made, we got to cross our fingers and hope that nah, man, because they're going to ask for our money. They, the next garbage event that they put on, they still going to demand our money for it. So I ain't nah, man. Give us what we want when we need it, when it should be made. And these fights at 35 is far too much talent for dudes not to be mixing it up. Same thing with 40 and the rest of these weight classes, man. Heavyweight need to do something as well. They should no way, shape, or form be allowing Tyson Fury to play around with that belt like that. There's no way in hell, bro. Anybody else, they'd be trying to strip him. I guess you call back on. I got to get ready for work, man. I got to get out of here, bro. You already know, Rick. Appreciate you, bro. All love, bro. All right, bro. All right. Appreciate you, family. Salute to the chat. Y'all smash the like button, man. We just going to keep building water. I'm going to try that power never leaves you. Right, man. I'm telling you, you're going to always have that ability. To, um, yeah, man. Salute to Shakur, man. Uh, uh, real one. I just want to see him get, get the fights they deserve. Same thing with Tank. Get the fights that you deserve because you are the big fight. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We ain't paying for no poop, Tim. You get what I'm saying, bro? Facts, D1. You already know, man. Court be Frank Martin ass Loman and Devin just to shut them up. I love to see him get a Frank Martin fight next. I love to see a Loma after that. And man, you just don't know, uh, uh, big dog. I'm telling you, just keep it pushing, bro. Just keep it pushing. I right, saw so hitting on Tank. It's so sad. It's the same. Favorite fighter suffers from. Yeah, man. I'm just like that's why I say Thomas. When you really love the sport, I you. You can still have your favorite, but I just don't believe in hating on none of these dudes. I feel like they all have different paths, and I think when it when their stories are written, when it's all said and done, we'll see. Just you know what I mean. We'll we'll have a better of clear understanding as to who these guys are and and who really wanted to be the best. You get what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's what you always want to see, man. You always want to you want to see. I think, the, you know, the truth will come to the light when the dust settle. And, the, you know, the, what the, what's the saying? The cream always rise to the top. I think that's the same when it pertains to boxing. The cream will rise to the top. It, it, you, you know, there's no way in hell I ain't going to talk about this fight. You know, this Super Bowl type event that would be a Tank Davis versus Shakur, man. You know what I mean? One of the absolute best efficient offenses against one of the absolute best efficient defenses. You know, a battle of thinkers in there. It'd be two guys. It'd really be a chess match at its, at the highest level. You get what I'm saying? Why wouldn't you want to talk about a fight like that? Because my thing is this. 
when you truly support a fighter and you really rock with him a million percent, how I do with Shakur, you ain't hesitant or scared to see him fight nobody. You know, the, any t opportunity you got for him to see, fight, fight a top guy, you just want to see it. That's what boxing is, bro. You know what I'm saying? I have 80 bucks pay per view, keep them all access is coming straight up. You get what I'm saying? They ask for a lot, uh, D1 from us. You know what I mean? I know y'all spending y'all money the same way I am. I know that it's, but, but it'll burn a hole in your pocket. Boxing get expensive. So, all right, don't ever be shy to ask for a fight or speak on or build on the fight that we think they should be making. You get what I'm saying? We, when you spend that bread, your voice matters, bro. Our, our voices matter because our, our money do. You get what I'm saying? Scare off the Haney coat today. <laughs> Bole, what's good with it, bro? Hey, what's up, man? You know, I never, I never clicked your link, so I said, let me just, let me just chop it up for a few minutes. I, I really should. You no, know you're always welcome. So I'm glad you, you, you did click the link. What's good with it, bro? Talk to me. Hey, man. You know, I'm right now. I told you I'm in that track and field mode, but it's winding down. So you know, it, it only comes mm -hmm. once a once a year. So. Right, you know, it came at a good time for me because there's not much really going on boxing wise. I mean, I'm not, too, Thanks, I'm not yeah. terribly excited about uh about the uh, Usyk Dubois fight, and then like you know, I don't, I don't even know who uh, mm -hmm. who Big Baby's fighting, but I'm gonna watch it. You know, right. <laughs> I'm gonna watch Keep it. So no, I just, I just click, you know, just to just to connect with you, man. I, I enjoy your show. Right, appreciate you, Bobe, as always, bro. Appreciate the support. Yeah, yeah, anytime. Anytime, man. I, I think I think 140. You know, I, I hope that these uh, these suits assert themselves at 140 because there's too many good fights, you know, for that division to be a miss. You know, yes. like great point, Teach. That's true. Right now, nah, I'm with you. Too many. That's why I say we got too much talent in boxing not to make these fights that we know we can make. And I, I think sometimes, like when the fights don't get made, that's how we get stuck arguing about a lot of stuff. You get what I'm saying? I think there right. are better discussions to be made. As long as boxing keep moving in a in a in a in a forward manner, like you get what I'm saying, this year has been a, a real good example of how to deliver fights and, and and how we get behind fights when they meet. You get what I'm saying? Now, you know, here or there, you could look at numbers and say they should be a bit better here or there, but I think what's always going to be a problem is the fact that people can stream a fight as opposed to paying for it, and I think it's going to always be people that's willing to go that route. Like, they don't look at it like we do, like diehards. Like, we support the sport because we love it to a certain level. You get what I'm saying? It's deeper than what, you know, a typical person would. They don't look at it as, you know, we supporting the, the sport that we want to see grow. Like, everybody don't have that mentality. So, I think it's always going to be a large number of those people that's going to always be willing to not pay for things. But for the most part, when they give us an event, my point is, when they give us an event that's worth our money, we, we get behind it. You know what I mean? Right. You know what I mean? We just seen it with Tank and Ryan. I mean, I know, you know, Bud and EJ could have been better, but it still was a success nonetheless. It wasn't a failure. You know what I'm saying? So. No, no, not by not by any means. In fact, I think I still think uh, I don't know if you saw my comment. I think Spencer Crawford still is a bigger fight. It was a bigger fight than um, Tank versus Ryan, but amongst boxing fans, because people were people right, are um, still talking about it. Mm -hmm. they, like True. they let I, I think they let the tank versus ryan fight go right. like after a week maybe but i feel like still yesterday i'm still reading comments about people talking about uh crawford right. versus uh spence so you know mm -hmm. i see you teach yeah man i mean it, it, sometimes when people just make it seem like you know as soon as uh tank touch core is over you kind of like um sliding tank to a certain degree if you think about it because you're making it seem like that's the only way you can win if he, he lands a shot. And I know some people would like to go that route, but I think that dude really can box. So you just should be surprised. Like you Don't be surprised if we ain't seen the best of him. I think he's more than just a guy that has to land a shot to win. But I think at the same time, he does understand himself. And, you know, you got to think about how he goes about setting up this so-called shot that I think he has to wait for to land to win. He can box his ass off, man. So, yeah. hey, uh, hey, just you remember that? Um, you remember that 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 uh, that question I asked you? I said, "Is is Shakur? Is Shakur is Shakur trying to be? Is 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 he trolling or is he trying to be the villain?" Remember, mm -hmm. I asked you that question. Yeah, I remember you asked that. Right when he was talking, when he was talking about fans, like 
you know, I, I think some of these boxers got to learn to embrace like the real fans, you know, because right. like when we, when we criticize, good, when we criticize it's out of a love for the sport and like right. out of expectations and expectations don't come from nothing. Like I don't expect nothing from a bum, right? I expect something Ooh. from guys who are, who are either hyped up or have shown skill and we expect something from like a Shakur, right? right. And true, like true. Andre Ward at one, uh, after the Crawford, he, was, he was like, people need to, people need to apologize. I'm like, we're a paying public. What are we apologizing for? We're supporting <laughs> right. you. Right. Like we want to see you fight. Right. Hold on one second, man. I got this uh, yeah. ambulance. Mm -hmm. me. Right. Cool. It's way too defensive. Respond, di discipline. Yeah, I mean, he gonna definitely hit make it. He gonna make it as tough as he can for you to land that shot on him. And I do think he got a good chin. How good remains to be seen because we haven't seen him get hit with this shot that would really let you know for sure, for sure. But <clears throat> I think in a way that's a good thing because um, uh, this is like uh, who who said it? Who they asked before? I think it was EJ, and they asked him like. You know, you know, at one point, like, did you ever want to, like, you know, get hit with that shot so you can know what it feel like or something? And I think he was like, hell no. Like, <laughs> like you don't, if you never land it, then you don't land it. But I ain't, I don't want you to hit me with it just to see, like, hell no. Like, <laughs> so I think that's what it is with record. Like, if you can't land and shot you, not, nah, I ain't about to let you to just to see how it feel type deal. That's not going to happen. That wouldn't be smart. RSV, what's good with it, family? Salute to you in the UK as well, man. Yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> so like, honestly, mm -hmm. what Not what crazy. I was saying is, uh, you know, like by embrace, like that's the one thing I think that was kind of missing from, like Andre Ward was trying to cross over. Like I felt like mm -hmm. if, if YouTube had a stronger, like had the same hold on the sport that it does right now, like right. when Andre Ward was boxing, like man, he would have been elevated a whole lot whether the right. comments were positive or negative, right? There wasn't much negative to talk about the guy really, mm. but like he was somewhat, he was somewhat like elusive and a little bit quiet, kind of like Crawford and Spence, Spencer, right. right? But like by people talking about the fight, like every day for about five years, mm -hmm. it, it got right. to where it got to. Right. So, I, you know, as long as they're not, like I've heard people say some disparaging things about, about fighters. Like I heard people talking about like, uh, like the, for example, the people that put out that um, remember they 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 brought that fake doctor on and he said something's wrong with Spence. Man, I heard wow. I heard that same channel. You know, yeah. I don't like to comment on that channel. I listen yeah. to them; they're real vile. But I heard him say something about like Crawford's wife. Like, come on, where? How is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. You know, what I mean? I'd rather criticize Crawford's jab than talk about his wife. I'm not going to talk about his yeah. wife. I know I'm not even. Gonna, yeah, I'm not even going yeah. there. Just out of respect for myself and people and yeah. women as a whole. Like, what does she have to do with anything? How is she catching strays, bro? Like, <laughs> you tripping? Exactly. That's my point. Yeah. You know. You know, it's I, okay. I, I reasonable like doubt. In, we got yeah, reasonable like, doubt to doubt fighters. Yeah, you know, I feel like intent matters. And I'm, I ain't talking about what the stuff about the wife stuff. I'm saying with the guy that he brought up there. But when I was listening more and OG was talking about it and he was like giving his thoughts on it, he opened my mind a little bit different when he started talking about like the music that was played in the back. Like, yeah, he was kind of setting his tone a certain way to make it seem like all the information that you were releasing was serious and the pictures that you decided to have playing at the time. It was just like a lot. And I'm like, yeah. I get it. I, initially, I felt like it was it was with good intentions, but then when I looked at it overall and I, I got to like think about it again, I'm like, yeah, I could see why it could come off as very distasteful and, and things like that. But I'm always a guy searching for information. You get what I'm saying? So I'm always open to stuff, but I do uh, take it with a grain of salt when it's delivered a certain way. And when it's coming from a certain person, like, are you trying to hide your identity? Like, are you standing on what you're saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's, it's crazy, man. People um think he took advantage of a, a, a situation while it was, like, hot. And, you know what I mean? He's kind of struck while the iron was hot because he got a lot of people's attention with that. Like, that that the viewership on that video is ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous, bro. Like, the... That one video alone was ridiculous. So it was like, man, yeah, you got to stand on that type of stuff because so many people seen it and heard your voice. You know what I'm saying? Right. King of 47 was good with it. Yeah, you know, people, I think that's why, you know, 
No, I ain't know Helene's failed the drug test, uh, RSV. That's crazy. I didn't know that. I, I think, you know, like, the content creators got to be more careful about what they put out. Like, you oh, know, when, when, you latch, when you latch on to somebody else's story that they're putting out, always. I mean, you got to check I, those um, sources. I, yeah, I played it in here, and, like, we was going across and listening to it, and I just wanted to be very, like, open to people. Like, we not saying this is the law. We just trying to, you know, we at the time of, we treating this guy like, he ain't just a dude jumped out somebody chat and jumped on the panel and started talking. But when you go a bit deeper, you really, his credentials is a little, uh, you know what I mean? He might have some experience in some areas. So it's like, uh, you just don't know. You try to be open to information, but you're also open to people taking advantage of situations while they're hot. You know what I'm saying? Like the hot topic. Come, you know what I mean? You, you spoke about something. So, because even for me, when I... I noticed when I talked about it in here, like everybody, when I ended the live, you know, for me, it was over 2000 people that came through. So I was like, man, you know, even the numbers in here listening to it, I was like, I see what it did. And I see, you know, you probably took advantage of that situation in that way, like on some monetary gain stuff. And sometimes you take the information with a, a grain of salt when you, when you assess it that way, you possibly see that that, that's possibly why you even went there. Like, did you do it with the intent to inform and try to educate, or did you try to one of those strike while the iron hot? Let me get on this. Why, you know, let me use my field of expertise and maybe I could blur the lines and, you know, who knows like what your intent truly was. And that's why I say intent matters. Like, I initially thought you was trying to educate some people, but in the long run, you just don't, you don't know. You get what I'm saying? Those are the most those are the most consistent haters in the game. So much mm. so I don't I would never even I never even mentioned them before that. Mm. Like I used to, I used to just sneak in there every now and then just to hear what the, what the hell they were saying. Yeah, they they're like they're like Rick Glazier's uh bad seeds, you know what I mean? That's how that, that's what that channel mm. is. But I'm going to get off here, man. I appreciate you uh yeah, you know. Yeah. I had a few minutes, so maybe next time a little longer, but I'll be in here listening, man. Right. Appreciate you, bro. Always. All right, peace. Yeah, Kaz and Loma still a top, top, top fighter, believe it or not. Whether people want to believe it or not, he's still a top guy. You know what I mean? That's the people came like that. They just go do further drug tests. Right. I ain't, I ain't know that, shot. I ain't know um, RSV. Yeah, y'all jab the like button if y'all haven't. But yeah, man, y'all know how we do over here. We always build on boxing. We do it a little differently than everybody, but we know what the news is, and we we build on the news. We don't care about breaking it over here. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, it's um. So the good friend because I told my boy Charles V after the nine broke it down. Bad as hell, yo. yeah, man. OG, that's that's one of my favorite channels, man. I rock with for nine heavy. That's one definitely one of my favorite channels to watch. And it's just an intelligent dude, man. Just an intel OG is very intelligent, man. He be on point with stuff, and I just don't feel like he push narratives. So I could feel, I feel like I could always rock with him. Like people need to understand, especially when we as content creators, y'all not gonna, you know, the people are not gonna agree with everything we say, but just always be willing to have a conversation, right? You don't have to agree with everything people say, but you know, what I mean, I know everybody got different relationships with people, but. I respect all content creators, you know what I'm saying? I respect people grinds and different things like that. But I, I know intelligence when I hear it. You get what I'm saying? You know the difference between somebody faking, like they know something, and somebody talking because they know something. And he talk because he from a place of experience and knowledge. So I just get respect where it's due from one man to the next, you know? I mean, you know, it's one of his best news to fight the best. The most. Right, right. Oh, that was away from the show. Let's talk about my fan. Let's talk about the. Uh... Oh, you talking to Bole? Yeah, I'll make sure y'all punch the like button. Yeah, man, y'all know how we build on boxing over here. And that topic was a, was a was a touchy one for a lot of different people. But like I said, my 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 reasoning for playing it and listening to it with the people was to always try to get some a better understanding of what we probably seen what was going on with EJ. So you see Clarissa was in blues chat going back and forth and calling 
calling out, man. Nah. Oh, man. I didn't catch it. I was over there for a while, Miss Joette. I must have missed it. I didn't catch it. Man, her AB getting six months banned. Yeah, it's oh, you talking about Alicia Bumgarner? Is she? She I guess I'll catch her on a playback. Damn, I ain't catch that one. I ain't catch that part of it. I was over there for a while. Oh, Thomas, what you were saying? Um what Bole was talking about. But um, what what else, man? So yeah, man. Um, yeah, I hear the new same news I've been hearing about um, with uh, said it was funny. I didn't catch that, man. Salute to Clarissa Shields, man. Salute to Cl Clarissa. I don't know if it's true. Yeah, we'll find out for sure. We'll find out. We'll find out. Oh, oh, you, oh, you never heard Bole jump on the panel, Thomas. That's why you asked. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bole came up here to build with your boy for a second. You know, it's always good. I told you, y'all always willing to come up here and click the link and and build with your boy. But um, again, this news far as um, I know who to ask. I'll hit up Tay Jones and ask him, do we have any other confirmation or any? updated news about Wilder because his information is always A1. But like I said, we can get, if I did hear about them trying to make a fight in Saudi Arabia at one and then one in Africa, I did hear that. So they're able to do that, man. Look, man, look how great boxing would be delivering. If not only we got a fight that people told us we never was going to get, we got that, could potentially get a second fight out of that. You get what I'm saying? And then on top of that, you mess around, you can get two Wilder and Joshua fights. Man, that's crazy. Salute to my bro, Big Dog Willie, back in that stupid chat. Always showing love, man. For now, I show yesterday, the Haney Coke family members say that Haney's the most hated fighter since Jack Johnson. He sold out Australia. Wow. Yeah, that definitely, you know, you know it's no slight to him, but it's kind of obvious who, who those most of the fans would be for this guy that obviously is from Australia, which would be Cam Bosis. That's not even no slight. That's just being aware of, you know, the situation, like, and not trying to, because, you know, you want to give one guy his credit. Like, you know, he showed up and showed out. He went over there and conquered, you know, beat this man in pretty much his living room. So you could have sat in front of all his fans. So there's no way you could have walked away thinking that those was all your fans or most of them or none of that. There's no possible way. That would make sense. But well, salute to Big Dog Willie, you be on it, man. <laughs> and we're never gonna box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Salute to you, much love, Brody Thomas. What's good, my bro? How you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling good, man. Salute and blessings, man. You know, I, I bully, bully. That, that's one of my guys, bro. Right. He always come with like great great perspective and takes right. and sounding and then never like on no personal bias or nothing like that nope. so i'm nope. kind of mad that i missed it but oh, I like man. That <laughs> that's why i was like trying to hit him up like yo what was you talking about yeah, but man. i know yeah, when he bro, is bro. on he bro, do bro. spread it all he spread it around like a champ man he got so much that he talk bro. about he condense it so he can get it all out yeah in, in a, a clean a way, lot of y'all like that in the um chat, and that's why I told y'all, like me being just do, I'm really about giving people in the in the chat their credit too. Like I, I notice, I pay attention to comments. Like I be seeing it. Like that's why I say, man, it ain't about just what I think for two, three hours. It's, we gonna we gonna build. Like that's why I say I'm gonna make sure I start dropping the link more, man. Start clicking the link more when I when I be having time when I'm sitting still because I I'm gonna come up there and uh, build with OG. One of these okay. moments, man. Well, yeah, you you definitely got to get on that OG boxing talk. But like I said, you know, he he really want to do a a Fast, co host with you. Hey, um, but 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 no, with with Bole though, like Bole is very informative, bro. And when he right. speak, if he tell you something, it usually hold merit. So that's why, right. like, whenever he was saying, I came back, I was hot. I had to right. help somebody do something on the computer. I was hot. Yeah, I was like, damn. Cool, right? If you, you one of them, I uh, mean, you one of them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you one of them. Like, y'all all got things to add to this. Uh, I be saying it. Zeniths, 
I be seeing him, bro, be cooking. Uh, come on, I yeah, be yeah. over there on uh, now he be cooking, bro. Always got deep, dope perspectives, man. My bro, 817, to be coming through here. He, man, you we could be talking about a flower growing out the ground. He gonna come up here and cook on it, yo. I'm telling yeah, he will cook on anything. You, that's how serious it is. Salute to my yeah. bro, Tim. In that super chat, man, just do love the channel. Salute to the family. Hey, man, we appreciate the love and the support, man. And that's what it's all about, the grind, man. I grind for the people. We're going to keep grinding, growing, pushing, bringing eyes to this sport, building on boxing. You know what I mean? And one one live at a time, one build at a time. Salute to you, Tim. Appreciate and we ain't never got to box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but, 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 but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, but like you said, bro, I mean, Bole Bole and Zenith, boy, they, you, you got to have your stuff together if you're going right. to go against whatever they say. No I'm making sure you don't come with nothing but facts. Right. I'm very observant, <laughs> so I'll I be, I, I be saying, <laughs> I, I watch. Hell yeah. I watch it's, just, it's just that, like, Venus got, like, that, that energy to deal with folks for a while in the chat. Sure. Sometimes you just got to let people talk, bro, because they just want to talk anyway. Right. Bole don't be really getting much in that. He'll prove his point and then he'll bounce off the whole damn thing all together. But mm -hmm. nah, I was, I just love listening to his takes. So that's why I was like, I, I'm like, yo, what you talking about? Trying to get me to get back up there. Right. But he, once he, he says his piece, he out. Hey, but I'm, I'm going to go on and give it back up to somebody else to come up here. And, you already and, know, man. Y'all always welcome. Thanks. Appreciate you, bro. Oh, man. It's, you know, it's nothing but love, man. Always. Right. Much love right. to the people out there in the community, bro. I love all of that. Yeah, and, and I heard him say track too, because you know I've been like I've been popping back and forth too, because right. I, I love me some track right. and field. I love sports, bro. Right. I ain't gonna lie, I just love sports. Right, <laughs> me too. I'm right with you. Yeah, Bole, man, we we some junkies, man. When it comes to this boxing, we right with you. Some boxing. Right, what's you. Kurt, what's good with it, Kurt? How you feeling, bro? We was talk or watch boxing facts, King of Forty Seven. That's what we do, man. It's some boxing junkies. That's why I don't really, me as a creator, no conversation within the realm of boxing really be off point unless it's a true, not even a real fantasy fight. Like we really wanted to talk about that, we could. But again, when these dudes are active and willing and ready, like when you got a guy hungry like a Shakur, you got a guy as dangerous as a tank. I'm gonna always be willing and wanting to see that fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in a rush, but I ain't got to see it tomorrow, but you get what I'm saying? As soon as it, that business line itself up, yeah, give us that fight, because at the end of the day, you know, they'll both be winners at the end of the day. You, you know what I mean? There'll be no losers when you challenge yourself against the absolute best. I'm a firm believer in that, and I feel like those two dudes will be going in there against the absolute best in each other. You know what I'm saying? Whoever you think will win, it's all good. But we're going to see. Like, we're going to see. Um, Like I said, Regis seemed like he's getting a little bit impatient. You know, I, I could level with him. I could understand it from his side of things. He ready to fight and get it on. And then you could see it on the uh the Haney side, man. They looking at it from a business perspective. Hey, we think we need to move to a better date. You get what I'm saying? That won't, you know what I mean, collide with any other events. So, can't be mad at that. Some people could call cap or BS or whatever. I mean, I just lay out what's out there. I get, I try to give a fair assessment. I don't try. I give a fair assessment on it. I be real, and I just keep it moving. Um, I could see it on both sides. Um, but I could also see if if Regis gets impatient and decides he wants to go fight somebody else. I already know the narrative is going to be that he ducked and he don't know business because he wasn't willing to wait for them to sort out a date. You know what I mean? Because you got to think, essentially, with them choosing another date, unless he's right there with them, it, it'd be kind of him, them doing what they want. And I think that's where the issue is coming in. At. So I hope that whatever date, I hope this fight is still on. I hope they're able to come to the table, meet in the middle, give a date, and, and go ahead and give us a fight. Because I truly do want to see this fight. You get what I'm saying? It's a it's an interesting style matchup, like I've been saying since since they've been discussing this being the next fight for both of them. And I think, you know, you got you got Gertz was good, where you got people, you got reasons for people to be concerned on both sides. What if Regis catches him? He did Zarilla as well as Zarilla moved. He's remember he still got caught and dropped one of them left hands. So, you know what I mean? Um could he stop Regis from catching him with that shot, closing the gap, catching him with the shot to hurt him? 
or could Regis stop him from being able to box, jab, and move and do what he want? You get what I'm saying? Can Regis avoid being embarrassed? You know what I mean? By the young Haney. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's a fun fight. We got Regis getting older. Some people feel like he washed. He up there. I don't feel like he washed. I just feel like he's getting older, of course, but I still think he got plenty left in the tank. How much remains to be seen from fight to fight, right? You just got to see what he'll look like in this fight. I know his last outing wasn't his best, but, I mean, you know how hard it is in boxing, man. Every night ain't going to be your best night. And as long as you're still able to pull off the win, that's all that matters. Do fight yet? So, super. I think Haney's are running scared. <laughs> Blessings of King Forty Seven, bro. Is he calling car? He definitely ain't trying to compete with the Tyson Fury, right? That's why I was saying. That's what. So when I hear him, <clears throat> when I see that being what it is, bro, it's like I ain't here to crucify y'all for for looking ahead and, and seeing what it is, but just. I just don't want to hear the, the Regis Duck stuff. Like, you know what I mean? I don't think that's realistic. Like, you, y'all saying get get him. I used to drop the ring. Carmel right. Moten is fighting. Uh, man. Don't he got a date? I thought somebody was saying something to me about that. I just don't remember what date they said it was or when. Young boy eager, he want that smoke. Carmel wants smoke, man. Young boy want want to fight. Man, he's got every tag available to start the fight. He flushed the region, so he either got to go move on to someone else, <clears throat> being the champ, or enhance his calm and stay the course and take it out of the ring. Out in the ring, yeah, that's what I wonder. It's gonna be interesting to see which which um course of action he choose. Like, is he gonna stay patient and allow them to set up another date, or is he gonna grow impatient, right? And the reason why I say I don't want to see him grow impatient because it's a good fight to make. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You just want to see the fight. You get what I'm saying? Good fight to make. Um. We want to see what's next. You, you get tired of having to guess who the next opponent for anybody is, right? Why are we still guessing if Frank Martin is next for Shakur? Why are we still, you know, speculating that Pitbull is next for Tank? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's weak. I mean, we just want to see the good fights. And so we can, you know, see the best fight, the best, get our money's worth, talk our trash to each other, and move on, you know. But we're gonna see. Like it's good news to hear Wilder and Joshua is is possibly going, you know, in the works for the two fight deal. That's that's long overdue, but still right on time if they give it to us in twenty twenty three. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I'm at, man. It's, it's it's a number of different good fights to be made, and I'm always hopeful that we get them. Yeah, y'all know, y'all know how I am over here, man. Y'all know. Said if they, they could have left hands as long ago, that were going to sleep. Why wow, there's only one round since Fury's out. That is concerning because he ain't no no real live action, right? Other than some seconds. We channel his truck fighting tonight. I heard somebody said the zone, right? Is it the zone, y'all? Because I gotta check that out. I definitely gotta see truck fight. That's another one of them ones. Truck is a good fighter, man. Truck is a damn good fighter. But yeah, we just want to see what's next. I want to see the contrasting styles for Dev and Regis. I don't have a dog in the fight. I'm not rooting against nobody in the fight. I just want to see it. I think it'll be fun to watch. You know what I mean? The undercard, Melvin Charlo. Oh, oh, okay. King Judah, what's happening with it? Of course, Regis not ducking Dev and He's just scared. <laughs> you think he's scared? What you think, King Judah? What you think he, uh, you think he should wait, wait? Wait for the date. Wait for a new date. Stay the course. Sit still. Think he being impatient? Talk, talk to him. That's why I always ask the people and let y'all tell me what y'all think. I don't tell nobody wrong for how they think. I just I, I try to see it on both sides. I think it's that's the 
the fair approach, right? Just, just see how, you know, where both guys is coming from. Let me change going that long. Yeah, man. That, that'd be wild. He better not allow Regis to crack him with them laps. Truck on the zone. OTX, okay. Appreciate that. Shout out. I thought it was the zone. Appreciate that. OT, OTX been putting on some great events, man. Shouldn't have to get a sign, announce them, and move on. Right. Get what I'm saying? Every time it's AJ, something smells fishy. AB White now, Hellenius. Yeah, man. I don't know what it is. 47 is wild. You know, on the zone back. So I think someone owes me some an apology. I feel you. I salute to the Queens. You know, I you know just do got love for my Queens in the chat. Don't run away because it's on mad as hell. Yeah, I deal with them month by month with the zone, man. Nigga, they speeding the juice like OJ. <laughs> the zone just got a new subscriber. <laughs> Uh, he said, don't matter what Devin do is his fault. Nah, I mean, that that ain't the conversation we having in here, really, though. You know what I mean? Like, uh, that ain't, it ain't blame Devin Hayes. Not here, it ain't. Like, we really just having a discussion. Some people think, you know, they might think he, he, I don't look, me personally, I don't think he wrong for wanting to fight on the day that he signed, right? I don't think one guy is wrong for, for looking at the business side of it and, and wanting to move the date because of that, right? If that's the reason, some people will explore a bunch of different reasons. I just try to go off of what they're saying. If you're saying that you signed the date and that's the date you will run a fight on, I can't be mad at you for that. If you're saying, you know, that date is 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 going you know, collide with another event, let's move it to another one. I ain't mad at you for it. But I am mad that we got to sit and wait. And this could possibly be a, um, you know what I mean? He said, nah, I'm biased again. <laughs> I just be wanting to make sure when I talk about him, I think over here, like, I rarely, like, I don't see that. Like, hate, I see people just seeing the different global warming, blame Devin. <laughs> I want to say anything about Amy being to blame. Yeah, nah, he ain't to blame for nothing. Yeah, that wasn't the conversation. It was like, what do y'all think needs to have y'all think, um, Regis should uh sit still. Is he being impatient or is Regis, you know what I mean? I think he should just sit sit tight a little bit more, let the um let them work out a new date so he can get that fight going. Cause he do seem like he's growing um a little frustrated with the situation and he seemed like he might be willing to explore other options. And I don't I don't right off the bat, the other options that I heard, I don't think any of them are 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 better option than seeing them fight Devin Haney next. So that's where I'm at with it, right? You don't you don't want to see lesser fights, you want to see the better fight. You get what I'm saying? So and I really want to see what both guys approach is gonna be to each other. You know, Haney being his first fight at 140, he going in there fighting one of the more more dangerous guys at the division. And Regis Pro, a proven guy, 140 guy, a real puncher, a real fighter in there, experienced two-time champion. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't know where people getting the cherry pick stuff from, but I feel like Regis is too solid of a fighter to be a cherry pick. I just don't think you can cherry pick Regis. He, too, <clears throat> he far too quality of a fighter, I think, to be considered that. You know what I mean? He had to be trash or, or less than. You get what I'm saying? Once he came, Jude and Big Dog debate on Devin. That'd be fun. Y'all can do it right over here. I'd love to be a moderator on that one. Probably cancel it right after Devin fights. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. See his fight. <laughs> Watch his fight and then be like, the hell with this on. Let it rock out for the rest of the month. And what's good with it, Brent? Bro, bro, how you feeling? He says a little hot today. And Judah, <clears throat> King Judah, be, he ain't playing with y'all. He rocking with his bro, his his, his, his young champion. He says y'all ain't going to be coming for his bro like that. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to be coming for his young king like that. Yeah, but deadline didn't move on. Right. I think we was talking about that too, uh, D3, right? I, 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 I wouldn't be against that. I get it. That's all I say. We just want to know what's next. We just want to know what's next. Goat starting to stick. 
But yeah, um, <clears throat> and that's why I ask. Yeah, notice, man. I present. I do. Con I'm gonna keep saying this until I feel like everybody get it. I present content in a much different manner, y'all. Y'all notice how I create the conversation, but I leave room. You know, I, I create the the title and things, but I, I leave room for the conversation, right? Conversation meaning, yeah, yeah I want to hear what the people think. For me, I don't come here and try to look for a reason to make one guy or the other look like the bad guy. We just had a conversation to tell you what we think, right? I don't, I don't, I don't fault either guy, but I would, I would love to hear a date so we can know that that this is the next fight and ain't nothing about to come in between that, right? But when you, when you hear the discrepancies and you see, you hear some of the things Regis say, like he's obviously being more vocal than Dev. Dev just taking in his stride. Like he's just letting the business work itself out or whatever the case may be. Regis seemed like he getting a little bit frustrated by the process of the business working itself out. You get what I'm saying? So this moment Regis in the same year, like we fight a year. Let's get the handy fans cranked up. Ah, oh, man, that'd be great wins. In the same year, he beat Loma and Regis, bro. Man, he beat the Matrix and the Rougarou in the same year, y'all. Y'all be cooking with grease, bro. Yeah, you can't cherry pick no reasons. Yeah, yeah, real be a ride, cherry facts. EJ, man, salute to the bro, man, for the five months being a channel member, man. Much love and appreciation, family. Salute to all the channel members as well, man. Y'all the real MVPs. Y'all continue to help the channel grow. And I salute and appreciate every last one of y'all, man. The same thing he says Tink is guilty of him. He called me a clown. I never disrespect him. Wow. Y'all know Just Do don't do y'all like that. I think the page you were for a while a few years ago. We lost you with a box wider and hung in. I think as you're getting mopped now, he's too gunshot nowadays. I feel you. I think he always, I think he could have been more competitive back in the day. I just think um at some point he said I'm starving to the next. Appreciate you, D1. All love, Brody. I think he he could have been more competitive and had more success possibly um back in the, you know or, you know if they'd have fought some years ago. But I think ultimately Wilder would still catch him. That's what I think. You get what I'm saying? I think Wilder would catch him. But I think so more so now than ever. You know what I mean. <laughs> Man, I appreciate all you crazy fam. Yeah, man, you already know the markets. My goal is to continue to grow, build, and, and make it easy for the people that's tuning in, man. They're listening. So it strikes in there. <laughs> King Judah be on it, bro. Oh, you're in a never-ending battle on the, in these YouTube screens. First of all, I found none of the three kings. So a lot of that cultish behavior is cultish. Get them going. I rolled out from that channel. Oh, yeah, man. Y'all know I rocks for all y'all over here, though. Because we build boxing up. I keep saying that, you know. Y'all know how we do. So, man, you know, what else? While we here, while we building, man, while we going to be here for a little while longer, um, you know, uh, listen, ultimately, this Wilder and AJ is good news for the sport of boxing. I think this is the most solid that this, this, this information has been since, since – the possibility of them two fighting each other was ever a thing, right? I think um, if they're if not they, I know Team Wilder is more than willing and ready to fight that man any day of the week. If AJ, Team AJ is smart, man, they'll make this fight happen. They'll strike while they're iron hot. They'll make it happen while it's still a genuine interest in wanting to see these two dudes fight, despite these dudes losing they, their O's, despite these dudes... um you know, suffering knockout defeats, despite these dudes having multiple losses, they still, them guys, they still would be one of the biggest fights to be made. So I'm, I'm very optimistic and hopeful that they get this done. For boxing, for boxing, for our dime, I'm rocking with Bomb Squad. I ain't switching up. Win, lose, or draw. I want to see it. You get what I'm saying? behavior I should hold them accountable to the standard yeah facts yeah I never I never me either bro me either Thomas I never ruled it against Haney that's why I get a little annoyed now I learned how to take it in stride now and I think it's slowed down now because I think a lot more people are listening to the content at first like you 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 might it might be easy to just confuse me for some odd 
somebody else. But when you truly listen and you like, oh, all right, bro, bro just got his, his different train of thought, but he rock with him similar to the same way I do. You get what I'm saying? And that's just what it is for me. You know what I'm saying? Shower says she excited for tonight. Yeah, man, I want to see Truck Simpson, man. I want to see the young, the young trunks truck Simpson get 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 back in the mix, man. Get back in the mix of things. I, I want to see. Down there, now rip there, and I come in down there, fight that rip that. No more haters supporting they are. That that is true. You kind of probably match energies, King Judah. Come in here, be petty with him. You know what I'm saying? I get it. 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 I get it, y'all. I get it. I get it. I get it. Your boy just gets it. All right. UK fans have lost confidence in AJ, especially AJ's number one fan. <laughs> True Gordy, who thinks Wilder will drop AJ. Right. Yeah, the zone, the zone been putting on some good cards, y'all. The zone really been putting on some good cards. That OTX, um, they've been. Fun shows they've been putting on. Yeah, they be dark, be man, they be killing. Top rank should make more Ty versus Ortiz. Whew, that'd be a fun fight to watch, bro. That'd be fun to watch. Um, uh, Jermaine Ortiz and, and Raymond Mortai, because I think Ortiz definitely got the boxing ability to make that a fun fight. I don't think he'll just get caught with some. As soon as he get caught with some, I don't think he'll go right. I think he a uh, better fighter than what Nakatila is right now, and that'd be a fun fight to watch for sure. You don't see, cause uh, I, I I suspect more tire gonna be back in the ring soon, especially after that pull out because of an injury or something like that. Here, hey, um, I'm pretty sure we'll see him back soon. Six thirty Mountain Time. That two cars on at the same time last week. Oh, uh, did they? We gonna see, but then um, what is this? October fifteenth is this? We got this coming up. Oh no, what does they say? June eighteenth. We got Tim Zoo. I mean, my bad. I'm I'm bugging. I got the wrong uh thing up. Not Tim Zoo and Ocampo. Tim Zoo and uh Tim Zoo. I I got the wrong dude. Tim Zoo and um. Uh, Why did I why did I have Carlos Ocampo? Brian Mendoza. I don't know why I got the uh Tim Tim Zo and uh 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 Ocampo. I meant ben Mendoza. I think that's a that's a fun fight. I did hear Mendoza was gonna um rematch Fundor, but I I'm always cool with seeing a, a new matchup as opposed to a rematch. Like truth be told, I think Fundor would have probably got his re his get back against Mendo Mendoza. So Cause he was down, I think, on all three scorecards before he scored that knockout. But nonetheless, you know, he did win. He got his a big knockout win, an upset victory. The dude been getting upset wins. I think this is like Mendoza's second or third upset victory, bro. So now he getting in there with Tim Zoo. We're gonna see what he could do. I think Tim Zoo's strong, though. I think he he might, I think he might stop, stop Mendoza. We're gonna see though. We're gonna see it. Mendoza got a lot of heart, maybe too much heart for his own good. He gotta be smart in this fight. Cause Tim Zoo be punching. Tim Zoo gonna try to punch his head off his shoulders. You know I'm saying, watch that progress card on Wednesday. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, not a lack of defense on the whole card. I'm telling you, them because some of them little smaller um cards, they be having some good fights on there. Straight rock up soccer robots. <laughs> KO tips raggy guys. Yeah, man. He got the opportunity, Shaba. Let's see if he could uh let's see if he can make something happen. 
They go ahead and get your bars off the right side respectfully. You know, they always willing to come. They always uh, that, um, welcome to come up, kick it with your boy. And those are lost to my boy Ramos. Yeah, um, <clears throat> Ramos, man. Ramos, tough, tough, tough customer. As we talk about your tragedy and back it up this fight. Yeah, um, Aisha, he's he been bold, right? Since get. Hey man, Aisha, you know they changed this man name after he got after he beat Tony Harrison, yo. They done changed this dude nickname. Oh man, they done changed this dude nickname, bro. I forgot what his first name was, and then it's something, it's something little slick nickname. I said Tim Zoo filling this up. This man done changed his nickname. His feet girl got tightened up. Yeah, look how he be um look how he being quick saying. <laughs> Look how he being quicksand a little bit. He ain't trying to listen, falling asleep. Didn't know Sorrell is killing me, man. I appreciate you, William. Man, go get you some, go get you some sleep, Brody. Go on ahead and get you some sleep. I right. oh, King Judas said, get you a link. I got you, bro. You got you. I'll be here for a few, a few, a few more minutes. And those only got two losses, out of twenty-two fights. Yeah, now nah, he's solid, solid resume and record. I'm shy and he's fought some. Some good opposition too. For some good opposition. And this fight, the last fight against Harrison, got him feeling himself. Yeah, he feeling good, Thomas. Even so good that they didn't switch this man uh nickname, bro. Don't switch this man nickname, y'all. They don't switch this man's nickname, y'all. King Judah, what's happening with it? Man, what's going on, bro? What's good, bro? Nothing. I just came to holler at you real quick. Look, already Yeah, look, the issue, the, the issue is this here. I noticed one thing, bro. I rock with you, you know. Mm -hmm. I, but mm -hmm. I be noticing. I don't want the same thing to happen on your platform that happened on Fanon platform. <laughs> like I used to rock with Fanon heavy, right. but bro, I got to the point where I couldn't, I couldn't have a conversation with the guy who ran the platform. Cause mm -hmm. I spent the whole time on his platform arguing with his check. Mm -hmm. I, did, I literally have ninety percent of the check coming at me. That's mm -hmm. why I come in like today. I, I all I did was came in, bro. I, I brought listen. I was on here. I was on here for about thirty minutes before I made any comment. Just to, <laughs> I, listened, the, uh, I listened. I listened and I and I read mm -hmm. all the comments. Mm -hmm. So I decided to come in today. Shit, I was gonna come in against Devin Haney, and yeah. niggas still came for me. I think they just like messing with you, though, over here, though. And I can't nah, bro. It's, like, it's, it's, deep, it's, deep, it's deeper. It's deeper than that, dog. It's that. They got some people that just like fucking with me, but it's deeper than that. Because in it's here, not the I only, think that's it's not the only anybody, platform. Anybody, it's not the like, only platform, quick, though. But it's like, this is the only one. If, if, if any, yeah, I think y'all just like messing with King Jude in here. I, I do. But I know the one, you know, you know who like messing with me. I know, no, this thing about it, uh, just I know the ones who like, I know the ones who like fucking with me. D one, yeah, D one, just like to fuck with me. Mm -hmm. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's one who he'll just say something He like to fuck with me. Some other yeah. people, bro, some people truly bother by my opinions because yeah, yeah. my opinions don't differ from a lot of other people's opinions, but I they mean, only have a problem with mine. Yeah, I don't know. At the me, end of the day, bro, like I'm too strong in my own opinion to be bothered by another one. Like I told bro, that's you, like, every channel you know, I go on, dog. Hey, that's every channel. But yeah. I, that's, I, I laugh. That's why I come in. I make jokes about it, bro. Yeah, nah, at the end of the day, or something, then it's like I'm like I'm cringing, but I know when somebody rock with their guy, and it's all good because you still know how to be logical with that. You get what I'm saying? You just rock undeniably a hundred percent with your guy, and I would much rather you rock with your guy than halfway rock with him. You get what I'm saying? You ain't scared to see him fight no nobody. You don't have those type of conversations, so I know you you really rock with him. Excuse me, y'all. Um, so you know. Nah, you just different, but I think they do like bothering you over here. And why I say that? Because like I that's why I put out a certain energy. Cause I feel like if somebody was just really in here, like on somebody, like just trying to argue, then I just going against how you know what my energy is. So on the strength of me, I'd be thinking like you wouldn't do that. Like I would lean toward people just, you know what I mean, pulling your chain. What's it? What is it? Pulling your leg. <laughs> you know what I mean? Messing with you because they already know where you stand. It's just like once people knew. Who my favorite fighter was, they started messing with me a little more. Like, you know what I mean? So I, I take it like that. It's all good. No, yeah, I mean? my thing is when I when I but one thing people don't realize, bro, when I come on anybody platform, my energy don't change depending on what you think. When I come in, I have a certain mode. Sometimes I come in, I want to argue. 
Sometimes I want to be aggressive. Sometimes yeah. I just want to joke. And when I'm in my joking mood, bro, that's what really point out to me that some people, like some people are very emotional because I'd be in a joking mood. Yeah. And, and people are highly upset. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to make jokes about everything I'm saying. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, bro, that, that's that, that's what I wanted. So when you be in, sometimes you be in a chat and you be like, nah, man, ain't nobody, bro. But what you're not realizing is, bro, everybody that's listening to you is not on the same page with you, bro. Mm -hmm. Like right. some people is hating this, and, and you can always tell because every fighter get criticism. Mm -hmm. Every fighter get criticism, but only certain. Every fighter get criticism. Every fighter got defenders, but only right. but only certain fans get attacked for defending certain fighters. Right. right. That's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah. Not you can't I, praise I mean, Devin Haney on nobody platform, and you can't defend Devin Haney on nobody platform. Yeah. That's a fact. Right. I mean, shit, for me, man. I get you. I, I I see. I see. I see a little bit of everything, right? I see a little bit of everything, but I don't know. I just never understood. I, I like when it comes to the hating part of it. Like I, that part is where it get weird because we we older than a lot of dudes that we watch fight. So you a little weird if you grown as hell hating on these young dudes. I'm always say that you gotta have your opinion, but I know what hate is when I hear it too. I mean, but. Sometimes, you know, no matter who your fighter is, you 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 don't got to defend him when you know that man can fight like that. I always feel like that certain arguments you ain't even got to, you know what I mean, try to argue. like. But for me, like the only one I caught my, got myself caught up in is when somebody said, tell me uh, Shakur is a duck. But I've done that for, you know, other fighters as well that they just put duck jackets on. I'm like, you can have any other opinion. Say he's born, he can't punch, this or that. Somebody better in him than this. None of that. Is, you'll really hear no real resistance. I'll tell you what I think, but you'll hear a different type of energy if you're just going to be putting a jacket on them. Like, come on, man. We got to respect the real fighters when you get them in boxing. And that's what that's what I always say when it pertains to all these dudes. You got to gotta love the real fighters when, they, when you see one. It ain't got to be your favorite, but you got to be able to respect real when you see it. And, and a lot of these dudes, you know what I mean, they just don't know how to respect real when it's not the favorite fighter. Well, I mean, I'm thinking in boxing, bro, people don't respect real anyway, bro. Ain't nobody out here calling for real fights. People out here mm -hmm. praising exhibitions. All they talking about is exhibitions. People talk about more drama than anything. I Man, when you get on boxing channel, people talk about more what somebody said than what somebody did. Uh, uh, that, that, that is true. That's why over here I try to, uh, I really try to stick it, stick to the boxing. Some of the other stuff gonna come, come, you know, come across, but for the most part, I try to keep it about the boxing, the matchups. You know what I mean? Who, who, who? You know what I mean? I try to shoot down the duck talk and all that. You know, back and forth, and really try to stay grounded to you know the fights and the X's and O's. You know what I'm saying, yeah, man. Salute to the Rise Podcast and my guy Jay Hardcore over there at Hardcore Boxing News. You know. Great energy, man. Two great podcasts. Great energy, man. Here yeah, working in that heat. It's taxing. Yeah, man. Y'all stay safe in that heat, man. You know? That heat blistering. There ain't no joke out there. It's not, it ain't too bad where I'm at, but you you probably about to. Third person I heard say something about the heat. What y'all think about this? T oh, Tim Zhu and uh, Brian Mendoza fight. Yeah, yeah, I, feel I, don't about know, I don't even know who that Mendoza dude is. No, nah, I guess we do, King Judah. Remember the one that knocked out uh Fundor? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Him. And he been coming off like little upset wins. Damn, I forgot who else he beat before uh Fundor. He had another upset win. Like he, he coming off a couple upset wins. Uh, I think he had beat up uh what's the dude name? I think everybody's whooping his ass though, but uh dude Charlo beat up. I can't think of his name right now. What you think? Man, who, you got, who you got in that fight, bro? Who you got in that fight? Which one? Mendoza and Zoo. Hey, I think I think Zoo might stop him. I ain't gonna lie. Cause Zoo got a lot of heart and he'd be willing to fight. Yeah, Jensen Rosario. Appreciate you, Shower. Always on the say that's why I love the Queens. But right, that was him. I think Tim Zoo might stop him. I think it'd be an entertaining fight. But I think you know, Mendoza just having so much heart. Like he 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 willing to scrap in there. That's that's part of what got him to knock out against Fandor, his willingness to engage. So I think that could come back to hurt him. I think he'll be he can box, but let's let's see if he can stay the course or if I got him wrong. You get what I'm saying? He one of them dudes. It seems like once he get hit a little bit, he start wanting to fight. So, right. Yeah, see, but I think Zoo. I think Zoo gonna beat him though. 
think this would be the the stop of his uh you know his little upset wins because he got like two or three in a row Mendoza I believe upset wins so let's, let's see if he able to pull off another one but I think Tim Zoo got him. Mary can't cut, so remember, yeah. You know, I yeah, I told you, I told you I'm gonna try to have more panels anyway, because I always wanna uh I want people to understand it's you know, I want to hear from the people too. We can talk I can talk all day about boxing by myself, but that's that's kind of boring. Yeah, that's bro, cool. like I said, I'll be noticing everywhere I go, bro. Like all the you know, I, I go to a lot of people different platforms, bro, and the, and the talk just most most the only thing most content creators have to talk about is what people are saying. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? While we waiting on these fights, a lot a lot of a lot of the talk is centered around what somebody said. Yeah. And I don't that's really get into it, bro. Yeah. Like Yeah, I, and when I do it, that's why I try to keep the clips and stuff. And it, if we're gonna talk about what somebody say, I think the best people to hear from be the fighters, right? Even if I'm not the one interviewing them, if it's a dope interview. I share the audio, or whatever, and we'll we'll go off of what the fighter said, like the hair say. You get what I'm saying? If anything, we're gonna talk about what we saying in here as opposed to you get what I'm saying with everybody else. Cause I try to encourage and influence like responsible engagement. Like you get what I'm saying? That's why I deliver content in certain ways so I can get that energy in return. Like over here is really about building. I can't stress that enough. That's my sole purpose for being here. And I feel like that that keeps it the stress levels down you get what i'm saying you could really hear through the co- content how i really rock with this sport you know what i'm saying right, and, and right. all of the guys that sent it that's doing a thing like i can have my favorite but if you as a guy that is doing your thing and you're doing it the right way i can appreciate you because you make the sport too you get what i'm saying it's a, one guy is one guy <laughs> you get what i'm saying think about how many other fighters it take for the sport to be what it is so I appreciate what a lot of these dudes bring to the table as long as they moving, right? You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm a guy that's always trying to understand certain moves and business moves in boxing as opposed to just critiquing them all. I want to try to understand why. You get what I'm saying? Like like I was saying with the pit bull fight and tank, we although we know we don't like that, but still uh, after we get past the fact that we all in the greens, we don't care for the fight, right? I still want some understanding from my vantage point about as much as I can get as to why this was even a possibility. You get what I'm saying? Like, I really be wanting to understand that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I think it makes the conversations a bit different when you got a different level or a deeper level of understanding and you ain't being, you know, given a run around. Like, what reason is it? Are y'all trying to tell us our fighters don't sell? Like, you get what I'm saying? It's deeper than just somebody being scared to fight. Like, what are y'all trying to tell us? Like, and why is this a more viable option than anything else? You get what I'm saying? Why is this a more discussed, uh, you know, path than anything else? Like, you get what I'm saying? So that's why I be at. Like that. What's good with it, fam? Yeah, man. I'm glad I always welcome y'all good brothers, man. I got a welcome on panel. Like, I some people switch up because I think that's YouTube do that to people. I don't know, but I know one thing about me and my energy is very consistent, very respectful, and it's very mature, like the energy I put out every day. So some people switch up because they, they'll, they'll rock with you as long as they can agree with you. And the minute they disagree, it's like, oh, man. Like I told you, I lost a supporter. Key word, not subscriber, supporter over Tyson Fury, bro. I will never forget that. As long as I'm on YouTube, I will never forget that. You got to be kidding me. Like God getting sensitive over Tyson Fury, me saying he's a cheater. And I'm telling you the stuff to go watch to prove it. And yeah, I, was mean, like, I, mean, I mean, you know what I'm saying? If the dude not the dude not just sensitive as hell, niggas come back. You know what I'm saying? But I done fell out with blue blood. I done had arguments with him on this platform. You know, time go by, should I be back on there? But I mean, I don't take this shit as serious. I I just do it a different way. Like, I would, the only way that I'm going to get into an argument with somebody on here is if I'm disrespected. I do not care how different your opinion is. The more different it is, the more I welcome it. Because the way I see it, it might be a group of people or a number of people in the chat that might feel exactly the way you feel, but might not want to come up here and speak on it, right? So you kind of would be a mouthpiece for the people that might not want to come up here to have that same angle you have. 
I don't want a bunch of everybody agreeing with everything, but it's not so much about the disagreement. It's just about different perspectives for me. I try to, it's not a me versus you. I say this all the time, like, and I'm gonna always say this. I ain't never getting tired of speaking this, y'all. It's not me versus you when y'all here. It's us. Let's talk this boxing. Like, I know that's a different way of doing things because everybody else kind of got that, that ego. They care about being right or wrong. They some people care about being first breaking news. I don't care about none of that. You know what I mean? I care about the bills surrounding the, the boxing news, like not breaking it and and, and not arguing boxing. Because again, dude, you can't learn nothing like that. I, I'm a student of this, so I'm not at the point where I feel like I know so much boxing that now when I'm talking to people, I'm just teaching, teaching, teaching. No, I'm still learning up here with y'all. So and, and it's always something to learn. I, maybe this creator won't say that, but just do just a lot different, bro. <laughs> we up here learning. It's always something to learn and understand, whether it's the business side, the ins and outs, you know, the crooked stuff that go on behind the scenes, all of that stuff. It's always something to learn. You get what I'm saying? Always. So, man, what's the chances of uh, Du Boy upset Uzi? What you think? Uh, Slim, like puncher's chance type Slim King, Judah. Right, like right. right. I just don't feel like he possessed the, the IQ and the boxing ability, but I do feel like he got definitely got that puncher's chance. And he might give himself the best chance if he approached it the way he was saying, like staying on the front foot and pressure him. Said that he's he going to be the first one to drop him and stop him, something like that they were talking. So right. hey man, you'll see. I mean, that's why one thing I know you can't be with Usyk is cute. And I feel like, you can't try to play chess with an ultimate with the ultimate chess player. Like that's what AJ did twice. It backfired. Can't do that. I believe you do have to fight him to beat him. You do gotta rough him up. So they saying the right things and they seem like they got the right idea in terms of the approach. Cause I think standing back and trying to box him is, you know, you you're gonna lose. So I think you do gotta go at him and let's see if they can be successful in doing so. And see me, what I think, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I'm not giving my official prediction here, bro. But yeah. I do this is what I'm saying. I'm not saying Dubois can beat Usyk, but I do think Usyk gonna lose before he gets to that major fight he's looking for, like a, a Wilder mm -hmm. or a Fury. The reason is, bro, it's because of his size and his weight class. He's smaller than everybody else, and he's mm -hmm. not carrying that crazy ass knockout power, bro. And I just think yeah. really skill for skill, mm -hmm. he's good enough to beat everybody. But I just think when you combine the fact that he's smaller than them and he mm -hmm. don't have the power to blast them, I think he's mm -hmm. gonna suffer a loss, bro. And it, it's gonna, you know what I'm saying? I think it's gonna happen before he gets to those marquee fights. And, and I could get why you'll say that. And I think it, you know, for it to happen, though, I think it will have to be a guy that can do some of both, right? Can punch a good bit and can box. I think, it, you know, if he runs into somebody like that, it's possible it happening. You get what I'm saying? But uh, if you lack in somewhere, like, and it's, you know, for the why it's like creativity and things like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, he lacks that, like a bit of IQ experience. I think those things might be enough of a deficit for him to not be able to win the fight. But, you know, you... Right get somebody else in there that kind of can change those dynamics a little bit, be somebody that can punch and box a bit. It's not getting old. You get what I'm saying? That it's experienced enough to handle themselves. Like then you, you got somebody that you got upset alert looming, right? With a guy that's getting older and things like that. Right. And he's not invincible. You do get touched a bit. So, you know, it's just going to have to take the, I think the right combination of skills for the, for, for the opponent to do it. I think, um, you know, I don't, I don't know how many people you got like outboxing them right at this point. Like, I ain't saying it can't happen, but more. I think the guy that would beat him right now is the guy that could either hurt him early, drop him a couple times, or, you know, knock him out. So when I was looking at that last Joshua fight, right, so he won, you know, Usyk, Usyk won that fight. He won the vast majority of rounds, but it was rounds with Wilder, Wilder I mean, not Wilder, uh, Joshua imposed, right. imposed his size on him. You see what I'm saying? He started mm -hmm. going to the body, kind of pushing Uzik, and Uzik started struggling. But every time Wilder got physical with Uzik, he struggled naturally. Because Wilder, I mean, I, I keep saying Wilder. I Joshua know what you mean, way Jack. bigger. 
I got way you. bigger and way stronger. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's all. This, this, you know how I can see a, a, a loss coming for Uzi? It's going to be somebody. I ain't saying it's going to be the wall, but it can be somebody just like this, somebody you don't think going to do it, but somebody that's bigger than him and more powerful. Uzi can be whooping them the whole fight. And I can just see that this heavyweight boxing, bro, so a lucky punch can change the fight against Uzi because he's already smarter than these dudes. Right. I just don't see his reign. What I'm trying to say is, bro, the heavyweight's not in a rush to fight each other anyway. And I just think before he get that big fight he won't, Wilder or Fury, I think he might suffer a loss, bro, on some fluke shit. Mm. Yeah, it's possible. And I know you like playing devil's advocate with that. Not even. You just exploring that other possibility, right? And Dude, nah, that's real. Like you, you just let people know that's 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 really hanging over his, you know, his head for him. It's possible on the way to that big fight, and that's why it's important to strike when the iron hot and get those fights when it's absolutely necessary to make them. All that other stuff in between, you know how that go for you. You get into, you can get what I'm saying. Somebody gonna upset that apple cart, and it is. It's right. I, I, I just I don't know, bro. It just seemed like he ain't gonna like I know what he waiting on. See, Usyk just I guess he waiting on them big fights. Unless Wilder gonna fight him. Cause you know, Joshua probably not gonna rush to get back in the ring with him. And mm -hmm. uh Fury don't wanna fight him. So And, and I wonder what is, is that? Because I know you ain't scared. You got in there three times with Wilder, and the only thing I can think of like if you just look over time, like it, he struggles with guys that are a bit smaller than him. Right. And I, I think that that him the most. like that big guy has issues with smaller guys. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> I think big. that's because he, he himself, the reason why he struggled with smaller guys, because he himself, even though he big, yeah, he don't, he don't, he don't use his size a lot. You see what I'm saying? He like to dance around. Like he box. like to pity pad. Yeah. So he right. don't even use his size. So I think that's why that's one reason he might struggle against smaller guys. Cause he's not using his size anyway. All right. And remember he, um, I know you probably seen the fight of them years back when he fought um Steve Cunningham. Remember how Steve Cunningham flattened him, put him flat on his back. He put Fury flat on his back, bro. And when Fury for Fury to get back into that fight, he started using the weight, leaning and laying on this dude and kind of being a little rough and but dirty at the same time. Right. Ended up knocking him out. But up until that point, like dude was in his chest making the fight tough for him till he's changed tactics and started using the weight. So it's like something that he don't typically do throughout fights because he 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 will he, he'll box you. You get what I'm saying? And I think, <laughs> think he is some I think it's some hesitation on his on his behalf. I really do think gotta be something with Usyk feeling like you get what I'm saying, he can hang with him because you made all those demands. That man really still say, yeah, and you still found a way not to fight him. Like, that's set to you not scared, and I don't want to do that. But some ain't right. It's just some hesitation, some doubt there. Some, some ain't clicking right there. Because why you ain't trying to, I got you, D-Free. Why you ain't trying to get in there and, uh, you know, it's un this is undisputed we talking about, bro. Man, I really just like want another fight. <laughs> we talking about undisputed, bro. You don't want that, right? How you don't want it? How don't you want you one fight? Oh, how the how in the hell do you not want the rest of them belts? How and you got this little steroid middleweight as you call him, right? What are you serious, dude? You got this little ass dude that you undersized heavyweight, little cruiserweight, little middleweight. You called him blown up middleweight. And you, why won't you go beat his ass and take his take his belt? Then you could go. Nah, don't nah. You still can't play around after that because you be undisputed and and play around with the belts. That'll really make me not like him at all. Like so, maybe I don't know. I don't know what to think of that situation, but they don't seem like they're in a the rush to make him do nothing. They about to let this man cross over and fight an MMA fighter that never boxed before, and and what would you consider still the prime of his career? He, he couldn't make a bigger joke out of heavyweight boxing, out of out of boxing. Like you made all this money on boxing, and this is how you repay boxing by playing games. This is crazy to me. It's crazy. And what y'all think about Mike Tyson saying this the first time that um, Fury gonna be in a ring with somebody that could punch like that? Uh, Mike Tyson don't want to give Deontay Wilder no credit. 
<laughs> and that's my guy too, man. That's my favorite heavyweight. That's who got me into boxing. Be free, Mike. Yeah. Hey, I want, I, I want to, I want to, I want to talk about what you were talking about with Fury and Usyk. Talk to me. Y'all smash that like button for me, man. Sir, I don't think. I, 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 I don't mm. think. I don't think Fury is scared of Usyk. I think. Right. Um. I think Usyk. Uh. Possess a style that Fury don't really want to deal with because he mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the fight with Wilder took a lot out of him and you got to remember uh, uh, Fury is not the same Fury that he once was when he fought Wilder the first time Fury mm -hmm. put on a, he put on a lot of weight so he don't move around the wing as much as he did before so when you in there with somebody like a Usyk Usyk is going to move around the ring and it's going to is going to cause problems for Wilder. I mean, for uh, Fury, he's going to have to work that much harder. And at this point in his career, he's just trying to lay on his opponent and wear him down. He's not trying to work hard for the fight. He's just trying That's to get an easy win. All right. All right. I'm with you. And I, I just, I feel like, um, you know, not necessarily, like I said, not scared, but it's some hesitation or some doubt or something on, on his on his side because, like you said, man, and I've been saying you don't go through those fights with Wilder. You don't get dropped that many times with those right hands, and you just come out of there the same as that guy either. Now maybe you, you know, you won the war out of this situation, but you, you, you took a lot of lumps. And, and yeah, and I, and I, I actually, I, battle, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I actually think I actually think Furia beat Wild. I mean, uh, I think uh, Furia beat Usyk. I just think that. It's just a lot of work, and he at this point in his career, he's lazy. He's not trying to do all that work. He, he, right. he went through he went through hell and back when he fought Wilder those three times. He's not right. trying to go. He's not trying to go through that no more. Right. I think that's real, man. I think he just I don't know if he's willing to challenge himself on that level again. Is he really willing to get up for that kind of fight again at this point? You get what I'm saying? Like, right. We all know it just get harder and harder to do it. It don't get easier, and it. The longer time you spend away from doing it, the less likely you are to do these things. Not saying that you will never do them, but the more dangerous these fights ultimately get because you'll get older. And then you right. just, you know, you don't use it, you lose it type deal. And you still will be you. But again, you just leave that window open. I think that window for you getting upset and losing, you know, slightly open more and more as the you know as time tick you get what i'm saying because no matter how good you think you are you know father time is undefeated and we know that and yeah and yeah. you 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 playing around in some of your prime years is what i'm saying i, I just don't understand it right and what's good with it brody how you feeling chilling man sipping this coffee um i'll say this one thing about fury mm -hmm. a question i had is how much do you think it is yeah, Rick, we'll where he go. is physically not wanting to chase Usyk around or if it's just an adjustment that he made from camp to camp? Because in that first fight with Wilder, he fought in his typical fashion, fighting off the back foot. I think he was still with Ben Davidson. Then after that fight, when he saw that that didn't necessarily work out because he got dropped twice in that fight uh -huh, right. and didn't really make much of a dent in Wilder, came to America linked up with Sugar Hill in the Kronk gym, and then that's when he started pressing forward on the front foot. That wasn't a style that he had used previously. So my question would be, how much do you think it is what he learned from Sugar Hill and how much of it is uh, decline in his physical ability as to why, you know, he may be a little bit more hesitant as far as wanting to, I guess, chase somebody around the, the I ring. Think so. yeah, I think it's some of both. Yeah. yeah. I think it's time of both, man. And again, with the kind of style that he got, you get what I'm saying? You 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 don't you want to be boxing. You get what I'm saying? Not not BSing. And, and even though he's taken some fights in Wilder, has he really challenged himself? Has he even participated in a fight that any of us remotely thought he would lose? You get what I'm saying? So although you fight and you, you you ain't challenging yourself. So I don't know. I think that. Man, I just think he just like like I said, you don't use it, you lose it, man. I like, but I think it's on both ends for me. I think it's some of both. Yeah, I think it could be a little bit of both, and I also think that 
you know, a fight with Wilder, that definitely has different financial implications as opposed to a fight with anybody else because we saw that mm. a huge point for him against Usyk was, you know, that 70-30 split. Mm. Like, he really wants that money. So I think that he's gotten, maybe gotten a little bit spoiled. Right. Fought Wilder three times and right. made damn good money. It's kind of hard to take right. a step back financially. Right. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, Usa agreed to the 70-30 split and he still walked away from it. And like I said, I just think I just think it's the style of Usa. I don't I, I don't think Usa can beat Fury. I, I want Usa to beat Fury, but I don't think he can beat Fury just because Fury is, is so much bigger than him. And and I, I think over throughout the time, uh uh Fury's gonna wear him down because we saw we saw uh, uh, Usa slowed down when he was in there with um, Joshua, and Osh mm -hmm. Joshua don't he don't do no laying on you, but he slowed down because he was he was moving around the ring so much and boxing he slowed down because he knows he's the smaller fighter, so he can't just stand right there in front of these big heavyweights, so he has to move around. But when you're in there with somebody like a Fury, him laying on you and he's like three hundred pounds, and then you you you're using your energy by trying to box. Is, is going to leave you in the later rounds to just be standing there to get knocked out. And so I think Fury will beat him. I just don't think Fury – I think he's lazy and he don't want to work yeah, hard. Fury was good, bro. I don't, I don't think he want to work hard. I think he I think he want the easy money. Mm -hmm. That's why he's going in there with this That's MMA cool. fighter. That's why he fought uh, uh, Jator the, uh, uh, the third time. He, he mm -hmm. wants this easy one. That's why he fought uh, Dillian White. He, he, he's trying to fight these easier fights people that's going to be standing right there in front of him. He don't have to work hard and he can, he can easily get a stoppage or get a decision. I agree, bro. I think it's complacency settling in too. And like you said, bro, and um, those, uh, those paydays, man, get your belly full, you become a little complacent. And again, just look at the way you start moving, start making all these wild, wild ass demands. Like, bro, you, mm -hmm. who you think you are, but it's like the, the you winning these fights got you moving like this because you was never moving like this before you wanted to fight. So I think he feels like he, I, I think he, he, he says what we always, always thought and felt about Wilder. He felt like he beat the man so he could move a certain way. He know who the man was, you know what I'm saying? He felt like beating him made him mad. So I feel like he got complacent and, and, and he just, you know, kind of entitled to. Now, I mean, who you think he was to make all the bogus demands he was making with a unified champion? Just think about the lack of respect that he was showing. He, and you got one belt, and he got three of them. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, are you serious, bro? You serious? You serious right now? Dude, man, so man, that dude, man, he just, his mentality is not good for boxing. Yeah, and I mean, and, and, I mean we, we could be honest. Uh, uh, Fury is the bigger name. He is the A side, but mm -hmm. the, the demands that he was making was just outrageous. And like at one right. point, I think I think he said he wanted five hundred million for the fight. Yeah, I'm like, no, no, what the hell? What the hell are you talking about? You ain't right. you ain't get five hundred million for fighting Deontay Wilder three times. You talking about five hundred million? Yeah, you sure it wasn't fifty million and not five hundred. I mean, <laughs> you sure it wasn't fifty million? You know what I'm saying? 500, 500 million even sounds a little bit outlandish for him. No, but, yeah, he said you know, nah, your point about being entitled, just yeah, I think that's all of it is because oh, no, he's he, been um he's he been enabled in a sense. Yeah, he said he something said, stupid like that, and yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah he, I was like, wild. yo, come on. At this point now, you don't want to fight, and that's where I started feeling like you don't want to fight him now. I ain't gonna say you scared. I'm gonna say you clearly don't want to fight him when you're saying stuff like that. Is there's, there's I no way think he's not trying to see who's going to pony up the money. Man. The man that's, that's what it is, man. Dude, dude is crazy, man. <laughs> it's like, and, 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 unless, unless he typed it and he put one too many zeros, but that was what they put in the paper. It was like five hundred million. Man, I just when, know, I, when I saw it, I was like, an this. error of some sort. I, I can't. I couldn't even imagine even I know him. Whatever he asked for, it was. When I, said it, I don't even remember the exact number. I know it was something that was wild, and I was like, yeah. clearly to me, don't want to fight when you making that kind of demand. Bogus. When I when I saw it, I thought I thought it was a typo, and then even I if he spent fifty million, just think about it. Like he. You the, the demanded at that way, like, and then 70 30. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to fight this. Just 
This yeah. is this is what I'm saying to your point about entitlement. I feel mm -hmm. like part of that is through enabling that is mm -hmm. taking place. Oh, like I literally I have the tail of the tape pulled up for Fury versus White. Mm -hmm. You know what Fury got? Out of, it was a forty-one million dollar purse. He got thirty-three million out of that, bro. See what I'm saying? Yeah, that, but that was, that was, because, that, was that was that was because of Dillian White. Dillian White, um, they were it was a mandatory split, and Dillian White wanted to go. He uh petitioned to get more money, and they gave him less money. That was on Dillian yep. White. He made no, that that's mistake. actually on Maurice Mauricio Suleiman who actually ruled that. I'm reading yeah. right no, now. I'm just saying. On, I'm, on, I'm just saying. I'm just on saying. December thirtieth. Yeah, December no, December thirtieth, twenty twenty one. WBC president Mauricio Suleiman uh, ordered Thanks, Fury brother. defend his title against White and that he would be entitled to an 80% of the purse. Yeah, no, I, to know, I, I agree. I, I like, agree that's with crazy. that. What I'm, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, uh, it was on Dillian White because he was going to get more money before he went and petitioned for it. He was getting more money, but he went and petitioned, and Mauricio was like, oh, no, nah, we're going to give uh, uh, Fury 80% and you get 20%. So that was on Dillian White. He should have just went with whatever the uh, mandatory split was, and he would have been he would have got more money out of it. That was on him. He made yeah, he did but, that decision. And but back to your point though, and yeah, that's the enabling that you're talking about. You 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 yeah. If, you if, if you're pulling you, something you, like that in this guy's favor, now he's yeah. feeling as though this is the standard. Yeah. Like okay, yeah, if I'm getting I, eighty twenty. Yeah, I could do people any type of way. So yeah, yeah, both right. But you just was speaking to that enabling. And right, yeah, see, yeah, I, yeah, he did that five hundred million. He asked for something wild like that. OG, I was like, it's crazy. You don't want to fight this dude, and it is some enabling, and then some of it is just you, just thinking you, you bigger than box. That's when I start disliking you as a fighter. I don't know you as a person, but how you're moving as a fighter, that's when I start to dislike you and be turned off by you. Like as a supporter, of you, I can't. Now you're moving like you're bigger than the sport. And I will never respect that. No one man is bigger than the sport. You wilding. It already takes two people to make a fight, let alone you just thinking you alone make the sport. Come on. Ain't no way in hell. And that's a little bit why he's moving. He's kind of like saying, the hell with y'all. I made my money, and so what? Like, that's what I get. I get those vibes from him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get what I give y'all. You know what? Y'all want to see me fight Usyk, 70, 30, this, all these 500 million, all these wild demands. And you know what? And I'm still not going to fight him. You know what? Not only that, I'm going to fight Francis Ngannou and hold the rest of the division up. I'm going to just play games. Like, and see, that, that, and I, I, don't, I don't like that because you make it, you making, you making uh, 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 Devin Haney drop his belt. You making Charlo drop his belt. But you just said, you say Fury can keep his? They yeah. fighting in they fighting another champion. He yeah. ain't fighting nobody that's a pro boxer. Charlo actually daring to be great. Haney going up to challenge another champion. And you're you're stripping him. He's stripping Charlo. Talking about after they announce him, you know, in the fight that yeah, he won't be the champion after that point. Just think about the timing of it. You might as well do it now. Why would you do it then? Like just think about how dirty the game. Like, what would be the point of that? Might as well do it now, bro. Might as well do it now. Like these people, crazy man. The way they they just don't 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 call it down the middle, man. You got Mauricio make the rules up as he go along. He really do. You know what I mean, and that's why I said when people was um advocating for Charlo getting stripped, I was the one like, nah, I actually ain't mad at that because that's actually the first time that you get what I'm saying. Somebody actually ain't you. It seemed like they protected a bit. You know what I mean? He actually ride with Charlo in this situation. So I say, man, I could get behind that because the rest of these, you do, you get what I'm saying? Well, not even the rest. You got the Furies of the world, the Canevels of the world. The, the rules don't don't apply to them. They they change for them as they go along from fight to fight. Them dudes do what they want. Yeah. Hey, um, I, I wanted to ask you uh, before I get off, uh, Just Do, how do yeah. how you feel about uh, Prince uh uh prince nasim uh son fighting this weekend he's a he's the co-main event to the Usyk fight wow wow yeah, it's adam adam is adam nasim adam uh, or uh i think it's adam I, yeah adam nasim wow. and he a co-main already and, and this is this is he's a co-main event and this is his pro debut pro debut co-main event i'll say yeah. this i hope i hope he got that spot not just because his pops is who he is, but because he can fight. 
You know what I'm saying? I, I haven't seen anything about him. I don't know what to think about him as a fighter, but I truly hope whatever he his plans are as a fighter, he he, he got a style of his own. I hope yeah. he don't come here trying to emulate what his father did because I would suspect that his father wasn't even taught the stuff he was doing. It was so unorthodox, so it would yeah, be hard. Yeah. Because I, I I was I was just, I was thinking the same thing because yeah, when we see a lot of these a lot of these sons a lot of these sons that come out at, under their father they they don't really pan out to what their father was yeah. because I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at Sugar Shane's son he ain't, I mean he's okay but he ain't he ain't no Sugar Shane I'm looking right. at uh, a Ricky Hatton son he's okay but he ain't Ricky Hatton. Um, right. and then it's the uh, it's the other guy, I can't remember his Iron name, Bain yeah, Chris Eubank. Uh, Chris Eubank. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. all, all those guys, they, they say, those, all those dudes will have big shoes to fill if they're trying to step in their father's footsteps. But I think the start of that would be to understand that you don't got to try to be your father, you can be you and try to be successful that way. The minute you try to go in there and do some stuff that you get what I'm saying, I think Connor Ben. It took him a little bit to learn that. Chavez as well, right, um, being boxing news. It took him a little while to know that. His first 10 to 12 or so fights, 13 mm -hmm. fights, Conor Ben, he, he looked like he was coming in there trying to prove that he can fight at that phonetic pace that his pops used to fight at. And I'm like, mm -hmm. good on him because you look like you're trying too hard. But he kind of settled down. In the, you know, those last, I want to say, eight to 10 of his fights. We don't, we don't, but we don't know how much that was Connor Ben and how much that was the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> the eggs. <laughs> you know, he calmed down. He kind of polished his style up just a little bit. And that's why I started respecting him. Like, it looked like he taking it serious. And I got to give some credit to um, Ricky Hatton, son. Yeah, and no, he, yeah, he's, know, taking, right. he's, he's, he's taking it serious. He just got, he got a defense, Again, he got a defense right. problem. Right. Right, he got to uh, uh, stay um, responsible defensively. You get what I'm saying? And I think it's about you just experience and learning and, and understand how to transition from, from offense to defense. Like You know what I mean? Not forgetting about that defense. Like You can't do that. But, yeah, man, as long as he's not coming in there trying to be his pops, he'll be out. Yeah, you heard me uh, teach. I was speechless for a second. <laughs> for a second when he asked me about Prince, I seen him. So I was like, huh? Like, hold on, what's happening now? Let me ask you, gents, a question, though, in regard to the development of the sons of a lot of these uh, past former great fighters. Do you think that they get moved along a little bit too quickly? Because, Free, you just said that this is this dude's professional debut and he's a co-main event. Their right. fathers typically go through the ringer. You know, they go through the, the, the typical protocol of any other fighter. Mm -hmm. You go through the amateurs. Some of them were Olympians. And then they go professional, then they build their way up through the ranks. Like I remember reading Joe Frazier's um, autobiography, Smoking Joe, and they talked about in his son's, I think it might have been like his son's 10th fight, Marvis Frazier. They yeah, had him in there with Larry Holmes, bro. Like, how do you do that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I know where, I know where, where Adam got sparked uh, and was never the same after that. See? Adam not same. He got the oh, same man, promoters. Christ, he got, got the same promoters love. his father had. Now, he's, he got Frank Warren as his promoter, and that was the same promoter that his father had. So it could very well be because of his father is the reason why he's getting put in there the way he is, because his father has the, had the same promoter. They both had the same promoter. Yeah, so I can see there being some nepotism there, but it, it feels like they kind of disregard the natural growth and maturation of every other fighter, and they just fast track these guys, and we're literally seeing them learning on the job as opposed oh, yeah. to having them incubating in the amateur system. Like, yeah. we've seen it with Nico Ali Walsh. Like, right. Bro was literally learning on the job right in front right. of us. Right. I, Same thing I with think, Ricky Hatton, son. Yeah, I think the Same only... Thing the with Connor ben. Like, I think you just got to move those dudes the right way. The only the only son that come to mind that actually did good or did better than their father is Floyd. That's the only one that comes to mind. Everybody else that I can, yeah, think, I, that I can think of... I can't they think about that. Yeah, absolutely. Than but again, Floyd had that traditional upbringing coming through the amateurs. Oh, yeah. Wasn't an yep. Olympian. Yep. Oh, oh, Roy Jones also, because Roy Jones Sr. was also a fighter as well. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it would oh, be okay, those yeah, two, yeah. Roy and Floyd. Those are only two I can think of as well. Right. 
Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, Roy Jones' father fought too. I forgot That's he fought. Roy is damn anomaly. <laughs> Yeah, but real. yeah, like everybody else, it seems like they just move these guys along way too fast. You know, just the nepotism, yeah. and they, they just do. put them in position, and they on the fast track. That's why they be a wrong. lot of them have decent technical skills, but it's that lack of seasoning and experience. Yeah. That right. That right. That right. 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 Mm -hmm. well, I'm, I'm gonna get back in the chat, just do. I appreciate she you. Already know, man. I'm wrapping up anyway. Much love and appreciation to y'all, man. Y'all already know. Man, so we gonna see, man, what the next what the next fight is, man. Hopefully, uh, Regis and Haney square their business. Like I've been saying, I'm gonna continue to speak on this as I see whatever little updates, tweets. If I see anything, I'm gonna speak on it on both sides. To be fair, like I said, I don't care for the duck talk and blaming. I just hope they're able to um come to a middle ground and, and get a fight, and we see um. We got Tank. Let's see what's next for him. And Shakur as well. So we're going to see. But with that, man, y'all make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Friday. And we'll be back tomorrow as always, man. So with that, we're going to get up out of here, y'all. Peace to the fans.